What up, podcast people? Listen, one only legend of winning, aka Low. We here another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast. On my left, I have Agent Zero. Say what up, man. I just hop. I've been playing GTA RP a lot. I'm a lawyer. Being a lawyer is super fun, guys. Just like the TV shows. I ain't gonna lie. This is me being a hater. I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah, well, don't you even. Are you don't have to say. By it. Let's far not. the worst lawyer I think anybody can have. Are you out of your mind? Your memory is horrible. No, no, no. You don't need to memorize the cases. I just need to yes. memorize my clients' yes. names. No. no, no. That all the evidence that you would need to remember. One of my clients shot and killed a police officer. Why would you say that out loud? Because it's RP. It'd be meta gaming if they said something. Mm. And I helped him get out the fucking jam. And that was my first case. No, he, the judge owed you a favor. No, of course, but. That's called you being a good, make lawyer. You a good lawyer. That's crazy. No, that no, no, the police good. officer. That means I, you do good networking skills. Exactly. That's what lawyers do. Is that why you was late lawyer. to this? No, nah, I actually came on time. <laughs> nah. Nah. Hey, hey. That is true, bro. But my stream crashed, though, so I had no choice. I came on time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it was too late. Yo, John. Say Yo. what up, my boy, producer John. What's going on, man? You oh. like this? No. You like this? No. I fuck with it. You fuck with it? I fuck with it. Because he was saying I was supposed to wear a do rag. I mm. didn't say that. He I said, said that. that. I got one on too. It's under it. Fuck, nigga. Oh wow, you Why can't you really say that to me. I yeah. didn't say that. Yeah. That nigga said that. No. Why you tell? Say it again. Yeah, but I don't got beef with him. I got beef with you. Yeah. He's a nigga, nigga who said it, huh? I guess not. Yeah. One moisture, a one bit of moisture is escaping your head right now. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> this is olive oil in in. Oh, you put olive oil in, in your hair? No, it's already infused. Oh, okay. The Asian lady helped me out. Oh wow. We mm. didn't do a lot of speaking. We did a lot of pointing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and finally, we have a very, very special guest. I'm Dante. Is here. What up? What up, man? What up? What's up? What's up? What's good? What's good, man? It's a very, very special podcast. I've been waiting for this podcast for quite some time. Hey, I man. appreciate y'all for having me on. For, for sure, real, bro. For sure, for sure. Well, Dante, we, we're gonna start at the beginning, man. The beginning of things. I, okay, I okay. heard that. Uh, well, first of all, when did, when did you start doing um, YouTube? When you start uploading? Uh, like 2015. Yeah, I don't think people know that you've been you've been doing this for quite some time. Yeah, I've, I've been doing this for a minute, but it was like low key at the start. Obviously, you know, I was still in college, so I was just like posting little videos here and there. But it was, you know, it was nothing crazy. Nothing really took off, I think, until like later on in the year. Yeah, but you was definitely grinding at that time. You was um in the in the garage, putting the um the laptop on top of the fucking uh, uh Damn. step stool and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. How what was the what was the commitment to that level? Because that definitely like you was definitely roughing it out back then. I mean, I did that because I didn't want nobody to know I was recording, so I was just going to my mom's garage, yeah. you know, put the little laptop on the ladder and then sit <laughs> behind the ladder. And it's so cringy watching my old shit because I'm like whispering in the garage because mm -hmm. I hear people walking downstairs and walking by, so I'm trying to like whisper while I'm recording and shit like that. So were you just self conscious of um? Recording at that time? Yeah, very much so. Like, I would hear, like, the door open up, and I would just close all my shit and act like I was, like, working out or something. <laughs> it, was just, it was just awkward, because nobody really knew what YouTube was in my house. How long before your cover was blown? Um, Probably, like, a few months in, to be honest. Because, like, my mom always seen me leaving my room and going downstairs and taking my laptop. At first, she thought it was some other shit. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> no, that's I crazy. You know, that's kind of crazy bringing a whole laptop down, yeah, you know? To the gym. And so not coming back sweaty, sweaty, sweaty and shit. Yeah. But uh, she eventually saw what I was doing. I just told her what I was doing. So it wasn't nothing crazy. At that time, you was you mass uploading to I think a lot of reaction channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just posting like anything. Like new trailers would drop, yeah. new game trailers would drop, like Madden movie yeah. trailers. Yeah, shit like that. So yeah. that's basically what it was for like a couple months. How did you find time to do all that? Because like you said, you was in school. You had two jobs. It was janitoring. Me and you got something in common. You uh, worked at Sharon Williams. Yeah, bro. I worked at Sharon Williams too. Fucking yeah. hated that shit, man. I went that bad. No, Sharon Sh Williams bad because I don't know nothing. I didn't know nothing about painting. I just, mm. I'm, I'm that and like people would come in and expect you to know and ask these questions. Like, yeah. so which one is good for exterior and interior? It's like I don't fucking know. Like I don't even know how I got this job. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's, a, that's a basic question on a on a can that says in no, but here. like, but like you need to know, like, bro, it's a whole bunch of shit about paint that I didn't know. Mm. So you 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 got hired a paint expert or something? Like, I got hired by a paint expert. And he taught me. But so I you knew. So paint. you knew what you was doing. He taught me though. So they didn't My teach you. They me. didn't teach me nothing. Oh, that's tough. That's wow. tough for you. Because no, that is definitely a store where they the customers walk in expecting you to know. Yeah. Cause that's like a specialized. I didn't Especially know that. you. If I walk in, you the first thing I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna see you from the parking lot. Yeah. So if I have any questions? Yo, I'm he's been pressing you. the fuck out of you. Which since. is so crazy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's, what's going no, on. No, I'm just saying. Like you, if I see you working, don't you got to wear a red shirt? Blue, blue. Oh yeah, I'm gonna see Where you from the, from the from the from the turn in. 
I guess. I, you I gotta know, know what you're talking about. Up. It is yeah. fucked up. It is fucked up. So now we just getting started. Get started. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me more about yourself. Oh my god. Stop so, talking, bro. So how did yeah, how did you find time between <laughs> janitoring, Sharon Williams, going to school? How how did you find time to like do that? Well, in the morning I would have school. I have like two classes. It would be like nine to eleven. I go to work at one to five. And then in between that break, at because uh, I would have my janitor job at six to ten, so in between that little hour break or whatever, I would just record videos as much as I can, mm. and then post them, or like try to edit them, post them, and then just upload them from my phone. Okay. So that's how I was doing shit back then. Damn. Yeah, true. bro. It was like I was just trying to figure it out, man. I yeah, knew for I, sure. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, but I knew I wasn't trying to be no fucking janitor. And I was going to college to be a cop. Mm. So that, the only reason that was the thing is because my mom said I had to chase something that the world would always need. And that's either a police officer, a firefighter, or um, a doctor. No teachers? No. Why teachers? you choose to, to be a cop? <laughs> Bro, it was the most childish reason. I, like, I like mm-hmm. movies like... Um, Bad Boys and Rush Hour. Oh, no, that's a crazy And I was like, movie. damn, yo, maybe, yo. like, maybe, <laughs> maybe, like, I'll get a partner that I don't fuck with, and then we'll get some case, and then we'll be cool, and then, you know, now you're like, oh, nah, movie. This, you know, yeah. like, was a movie. Bro, like, crazy, that's bro. how you know, like, my mindset at the time, like, I did not know what the fuck I was trying to do in my life. How old were you when you thought about being a cop? I was, like, 19. Mm. Oh, I thought Ooh. as a kid, you, like, pull out a nigga to time out. You were prone to tell. Hell like, no. Nah. You like to feel like it's stealthy. Yeah, I, mean, I, was, I only about. chose that because I was put on a spot. Like, oh. I didn't, I wasn't young. Like, yo, I want to be a police officer, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, man. Like, I wanted to be like, I just wanted to make people laugh. That's all I wanted to do mm-hmm. since I was yeah. a kid. That's that's really it. So, that's mm-hmm. tough because that's Bad Boys kind of definitely scary, one of the wrong. Yeah. Bad Boys was fire. How about Bad 21 Jump Street? movie. 21 Jump Street. Bro, all them buddy cop movies. You I like loved them? all that shit. Yeah. And you yeah. talk to yourself. That's all. Yes. It's yes. fire. I don't lie down to you. You were the worst nigga to have a gun. Because if you that nigga that's running hey. out here thinking you Will Smith, hey. that's crazy. Hey, but I, but <laughs> I, I, real I got life, one. Like, I still got one. I don't want to be in that situation. No. <laughs> I don't want to be in a shootout with the narcs or no. the, uh, the mob or the. Uh, but you won't have a choice. Yeah. And that's wow. kind of that's kind of fire though. Yeah, that's super fire. The shootout no, part. No, it's not. No, it's yes, not. it is. If you no. survive that shit, if. I don't like going eighty miles per hour in my car. So me flying, shooting out the window, no, no. my that's anxiety is gonna be through. Bro, no, you never watched no, the movie. No, you don't and then, shoot out of windows as a police officer. He's telling you what he Bad saw boys. though. He's thinking that's what Will Smith did. Yeah, yeah, that's what Will Smith was doing. Yes, that's and Marlon got fat. <laughs> He should have been retired cop. Now, there's actually a lot of great cop shows. Program. Brooklyn Nine Nine is one of my favorite shows. I haven't seen that. Oh, you got but to. I, you would I like it's it. funny. Yeah, you would like it. Okay. No, that's crazy. What were you studying in school? Um, criminal justice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was. That's not nothing crazy, bro. Like I didn't even finish. Yeah. Um, yeah. Congratulations. Congrats, man. Neither does. We didn't. Yeah, you made a good decision. I went either. to a community college. Same. Uh, okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. Well, no, not the whole time though. I just started off well, and then fuck. I transitioned. Yeah. I just did straight community and then dropped out. Well, that's smart. Yeah, well, at least smart. you got a chance to experiment. You yeah. realize there was some shit you didn't like, but on the side yeah. you're doing YouTube. At the time, were you thinking career? Like this could be career, or is it just some shit you enjoy doing on the side? Nah, I didn't even think I would like it would turn into anything, but. I did enjoy doing it, so it was kind of just like a hobby at the time. Mm-hmm. That's all. Yeah, I yeah. definitely fucked with it though. Who's? Do you have any inspirations? How much YouTube did you watch before you decided like I need to try this the, uploading thing? The YouTube, the YouTubers that I were watching weren't really doing what I was doing. It was more like they were doing gaming stuff. It was and like I, gaming. Yeah, definitely. I couldn't afford like any of the cool stuff that they had to do the gaming stuff. So, um, it was just like an old. There was like this old group called the Creatures. Uh, I don't know if y'all ever heard of them. They used to do gaming, and then obviously PewDiePie was on YouTube doing his mm. shit. Um, but you did walkthroughs, though. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, you did walkthroughs. I guess that works. I was trying to like play play around with that. But as far as like the reactions and shit like that, there was like a main guy that was his name was like Tyrone Magnus that was doing that shit. Yeah. And yeah, I saw him and I was like, damn, that that kind of looked kind of cool. So that's when I started doing that shit. But when it when it first started popping off. Was it um, was it something like you 
kind of thought was sustainable? Because I know you were trying to transition, move in with your girl, and y'all kind of go out do y'all thing. So was that like, when you first started happening, was that always a goal for you, or was it just always something you just try to do on the side? Yo, like, at a couple months in, once I got, like, that first check, because, you know, you don't get anything until you get over that $100. Yeah. So when I first got that, I was like, damn, wait, hold on. You could actually make money from this. That's when I started uploading mm-hmm. more and more. And then it got to the point where I was like, damn, I can actually probably get a little apartment with this. Yeah. And so that's when I just kept doing it and while working a, while working a job. So I was on, I was in the same boat. Cause at first second I was like, if I can get a thousand dollars from YouTube, that's how I was thinking about it. A thousand dollars from Sharon Williams. And at the time we had the, uh, the other podcast, I was like, ah, I might be able to get a thousand from that as well. We may, we split that 50, 50. I might be able to get a thousand. I might be able to move out. But then, yeah, after a while, you just start taking off. So I was like, oh, well, fine. Yeah, because at that point, like, I was still working my job. So it was like, I wasn't fully relying on YouTube, but it was still making some money. Yeah. So I wasn't stressed that it wasn't making a lot of money. So, yeah, when it started really taking off, yeah, I instantly quit that stupid-ass Sherman Williams job. It wasn't mm. that bad, man. That shit was dog that shit. Means you had horrible managers then. The manager was cool. I just don't, I don't know shit about paint. And they didn't teach you nothing, dog. No, that's tough. I wonder, like, what kind of person gets passionate about paint, though. That's what I'm saying. They don't get passionate about it, but you just informed about it, so it doesn't become a, a chore when somebody asks you a question. All right. So if I ask you, like, what would you paint, like, a exterior of this home? What is this? Um, this this is not brick, is it? Mm-mm. If this is siding, you just use exterior paint. No, what color? Like a one a one hundred. A100 is the, the exterior paint. See, I don't even know what that is. Okay. What is it? Is A100 like a what color? What color is that? No, it's it's a it's, it's not a color. No, it's a type of paint. We actually got it in the in the garage right here. It's oh, really? A, A100 exterior paint. You know, the color, you just find the color. You can match it as well. They have it at the thing. Mm. And you just do that. Yeah. Oh, so I got you, a man. shed. Oh, like, oh, this, fuck just, you. Now I see why he be shitting on you, bro. Oh, fuck you. you. No, I was about <laughs> to do it. I, I, I did good this. at my job. I guess it's a fuck you. That's I'm crazy. trying to paint like a a, a shed. I want a shed, probably about the size of a little house. I got a friend. The size of a little house? You have a shed yeah. the size of a little house? Yeah. Like You're a, rich like as fuck. Well. <laughs> no, that's crazy. <laughs> You're rich. No. A two-door garage shed? That's a lot of snacks. Nigga, that's a shed? That's a shed. That's a, that's a shed. A two-door, a, a two two-car car. garage? Yeah. That's a shed. That's, Man, that's like just a, a two-car garage. That's that is. That's a big-ass shed, shed, That's a big-ass shed. That's a big shed. But you, you, a you, one, you, one you probably need like um two... Two to three gallons of paint. You better off just getting a five gallon because it'll save you some money. You get a five gallon A one hundred, depending on the color, this depending on the type off. of base. I ain't gonna lie. What would you What would you tell John? If I said, "Yeah, I'm trying to paint a shed," <laughs> I gotta ask my manager. Like I could get, get the, I get get the manager for you. Yeah, he would, niggas would, that paint nah, they, should have a patience. No, nah, yeah, they, they get mad. No, they, they get, get mad. mad. They, they definitely mad. sigh and be like, it's like right. "Dude, what do you expect? I'm gonna take my time, nigga." No, but they came there because they think because if they wanted some inexperienced people, they would go to like Walmart, and that's how they would get their paint. But why do they assume the first there. person that they see, like you walk up to Sharon Williams and you see me standing there, like yeah, I'd assume you know anything. It was something about paint, just like eight hundred. I would know. Yeah, I would. I would know you would know something. If I if I go to like what? Micro Center, no. and they treat me nah, like that, I'm that, that makes sense though. That makes sense because like around. if I go to like Toyota dealership and they don't know about my car, I'd be like okay. But if I go to a tuning shop and they don't know what uh, the first thing about my car, I'd be like what the fuck? Am okay, I doing yeah, here? that's different. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a it's a it's a. Yeah, specifically about paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, I go, yeah. if I go to a micro center, I'll look for the nigga that looks the smartest. Bro, they should all be able to know how to do their job. What are we doing right now? Bro? Yeah, it's a micro but center. I, it's I a I micro center. What's the difference for. about paint and then painting? Like, I can give you the paint off the wall that you want, mm-hmm. but I can't tell you what painting, like for painting, that you need. You ever just lie? Yeah. Just like out of boredom. But then they come back. They just come back. Yeah, oh, come they're back. like, no, oh. that wasn't the right one. Yeah, yeah. No, then they come back. <laughs> that's how you get yeah. fucked up, and you got to go back in storage and just start picking up paint and shit. Uh, around this time, were you, uh, did you get into, like, um, before you really blew up? Is this when you started rapping and stuff like that, or when it, what intrigued you to go in that route as well? Uh, I mean, I've always been doing music since, like, middle school. But uh, once I started actually blowing up on YouTube, I was like, you know what? I might as well just throw some shit up here since I got some subscribers. And uh, it was usually it was like some of my old music mixed with some new shit. Okay, cool. So yeah, because I didn't know I didn't know you had like a a good catalog of music that spans for like three four, four years at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing it for for a long, long time. Yeah, like, for sure. I'm talking about a, a while now, and it's, it doesn't sound like the early stuff doesn't sound the best because the quality was trash. Mm-hmm. But you know, as I've gotten as I've gotten more 
paid more money and more viewers yeah. and shit. I can get better equipment and shit like that. So you never like you never thought about doing that? Because I would assume like if you rap, so you'd be like, oh, I mean, I want to get into rapping. You Just music? I mean? Yeah. Like, nah, because I'm not a very social person. Like, okay. I know it look, look like that on streams and videos, but like, I keep to myself. I'll be chilling. Yeah. And I don't want to do no shows and perform. You don't have to, though. That's the same thing I, I thought say, about. Yeah, I don't. There's, there's artists like Summer Walker where she just like stopped going on tour. Vince like, yeah, I don't want to perform. I just want to make music. Yeah. That's how I feel. Like I kind of just want to make the music and put it out there. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But <laughs> you Let think the world that feel me. you think that would like prevent you from like actually like doing it because you still could have done it and blew up. Yeah. True. Because especially like nowadays, like it's not like these artists blow up based off of their shows. Like you know what I'm saying? Like true. A couple of songs here and there hit, and then it's it's over with. Um, I don't know. Like the stuff that like. I take it serious, but at the same time, I'm just, it's just something that I do when I feel like I need to get something off my chest or whatever. Mm-hmm. And the stuff that I put out, like that has music videos have done well. And I feel like if, you know, maybe if I did try harder, I could be doing some crazy stuff, but that's not really the lane I'm trying to go down. Yeah. I'm just trying to just push it out when I want to. You I feel like it should be okay to just have a hobby. Yeah. Do some shit you do because it's fun. Yeah. Like I have fun doing it and it's, it's really just a way of me venting. It's like therapy for me. Mm-hmm. Like when I got some shit, I got to get off my chest. I was just write it and then put it out that's another reason why i wouldn't really perform shit because uh i talked about this before it's like the whole logic thing where he was like i don't want to be alive who can relate Woo! and it's like it turns into a meme like you talking about something serious but everybody's like laughing at you because the way you're doing it yeah i always wondered i've never been to a concert where like the vibes were sad you know like you know those yeah, artists like, who wants like, to go there and you go there and i imagine the whole crowd is just crying um because what else would they be doing it's the songs about fucking suicide so think about a mosh pit for that Niggas lit like I don't want to be this alive. Nigga. That's what I'm Crazy. saying. But like, that's the truth, lit. though. Like yeah. niggas is lit. I just paid three hundred dollars. Let's go. You talk about like you talk about something. You sit there in the studio and write something dear to your heart, and you go perform it, and bitches are like tapping to that shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he didn't write that. Apparently, he started from Joyner Lucas. But besides the point. Um, but it's logic. So you're Joyner Lucas. No, 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 no. I just found that out last week. I, I personally, I'm not. I couldn't care less about neither. But I didn't hear. I didn't, I didn't hear that. Right now. You I didn't know, know about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it could not be true. I just heard that Joyner Lucas accused him of that, so. Is you not fucking with Logic oh, or something? I used to love Logic. Oh, shit. Back what in the day, tits, when tits dropped, I mean, I was in love with Logic. Yeah, I don't know what happened, to be but, honest. Like, recently, he just feels like, like, where'd he go? Mediocre as fuck. He's still he's dropping he's albums. Still, stri- Wait, he still drops albums? Yes, he retired and came back. He's still dropping but shit. But when he retired, oh, he, he was streaming, back. though. I didn't yeah. know he retired. I, I, didn't know. I, I thought he just straight up retired. Nobody else knew he came back. His album didn't do all that well, but the point, I don't know. I just like is this That man to retire? You know, like Eminem no, was no. talking about, like how he talked about everything he could talk about. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Logic yeah, is, where it's just like, bro, you're saying the same shit. You gotta find the time to like pack it up and stop. Yeah, otherwise he I, did. He found the perfect time, and then when he came back yeah, from retirement. Yeah, he didn't do that good. Yeah, I didn't know he came back. Yeah, but well, anyway, I, I ain't gonna lie. To, I don't want to sound like this guy, but Logic started to sound like Kendrick and Big Sean, and I was like, all right, I can't do you no more. No, bro. he did not. Yes, he did. There were certain songs that sound very similar really? to some Kendrick songs. I was like, bro. Oh, i never seen that resemblance. But everybody sounds <laughs> similar to somebody. No, no, no. I'm talking about like from Pimp a Butterfly, and then like a year later, I'm hearing a song that sounds just like some songs off of that. Like, wonder, how is that possible? I wonder how you feel about like content creators that have a platform, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch or whatever, mainly mm-hmm. YouTube, and then start to try and make a pivot towards music. You know, like the Flight Reacts, or even like Kai just dropped a song, even though he's not a musician at all, but yeah. like his song was doing really well. DBG too. Do you ever see, do you ever see stuff like that and think like, like, like you question like why they're doing it or, or is it more oh, like... you trying to start shit. No, no, not really. No, no, no. But like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, like me personally, um... I get it. Everybody, I feel like everybody nowadays want to be a rapper and want to make music and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. so I don't knock nobody's hustle and things like that. And if it's fun, it's just all in good fun. Now, if mm-hmm. you just came out of nowhere and started rapping and you was talking big shit, like I, I rap circles around niggas and da da da. It's like like rice gum. Yeah, it's like bro, you you got like YouTube fans, yeah. obviously, and they're gonna boost your shit up. Yeah. But if he we talk in the head, he, yeah, he did that before the pooty. That's what got them beefing. You, Nigga, Pete, yeah, when, when Pooty was rapping, freestyling, and this nigga flamed this nigga, and they got into a beef because of that? Bro, shout bro. out Pooty. Pooty is a comedian, bro. I fucking love this oh, dude. I, I would assume that it was y'all. Like, this I fucking love that dude. But yeah, a lot of a lot of people, they get so much hype from their, their YouTube 
uh, fans. And so they think they have real rappers. Yeah. But it's like, if I really wanted to lyrically, I could destroy anybody. Mm. But I don't even take it serious. But I, like, lyrically, I'm literally like, nasty niggas like really that. bad. Like, their fans just support them. They just really suck. Yeah. They're wasting their engineer time. Huh? Who you talking about? Yeah, who we talking about? This is because... Before, before yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was talking in general, by the way. There's a lot of okay. niggas that are bad. Okay. Who? This okay. name who? I don't even know. I'm Dante. This is Kai Sinatra. I'm like, what the fuck? But who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Yeah, John. You name some people, I'm going to tell you they're good or bad. Rice gum, ass. Jake Paul, ass. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, these are, like, obvious things. Okay. Yeah, obvious. Not, they have nothing to do with them YouTube-wise. It's music. DDG, DDG got better. DDG's, DDG's actually, like, good. Like, I like he, he has some good shit, like, for, like, radio shit and that stuff that gets but stuck He's actually taking it more serious. Yeah, okay. he's taking it more serious, Somebody's too. getting there and just put his shit. And you gotta respect a, him. A he was on double XO. He was, yeah. So, oh, he KSI. Was. KSI? KSI? Not good. KSI? He just has money behind it. No, 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 no. KSI... At first, he was it wasn't that good, but now he's gotten better. Show me something good, new. I'm not gonna lie, his, some of his recent shit's actually been nice. Did you hear that? I, I didn't hear one of his recent shit. Did you hear the shit with uh, Dirk? Shit. Which one? Look, the, what, yeah, what, Lil Dirk. He had Dirk? his See y'all bro. sleep, bro. Wake up. No, 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 no. But think about that, bro. He had Little Dirk on the song. Some. I know he didn't write the whole thing himself. Plus, the music video makes shit look good. Plus, his fan base what is going to do good. Man, you sure what you saying? That's a hate that shit. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, I can't hear all y'all talking in my ear. You're hating, bro. He had he. Did you hear? I'm listening to it. You had Fat Man. You had Fat Man. That was good. I like that one. Yeah, that was that was true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got. I didn't hear the Dirk one. I said I gotta hear it. Can you play it? Play right now. Play right now. Let's get a live reaction. Oh shit! Okay. Okay. Well, Play it's not gonna go on YouTube because it's gonna get copyrighted. So we'll just drop this oh, portion right yeah, here just on Peer to Peer Uncut. Link in the description. Uncut. Yes, said it. Well, we're that? back. We're back from Peer to Peer Uncut, man. Make sure it's got a top <laughs> link in the description. No, so, no, what, what did you if mean you by had, that? If you had a nigga that was making music and it was bad, he was like, "Yo, I just saved up my eighty thousand. Mm -mm. I'm gonna get a song with a uh, key Glock, and it's gonna really take me up there." What mm -hmm. you gonna tell them? I, I don't think anybody should just buy features thinking that. It's gonna make them better Unless or make Drake. their career better. Unless it's Drake. No, bro. It's like, not gonna make you better. I don't better. think anybody should do that. that. People check. will just like it's Drake. It's not gonna make you better. You're gonna get it, your feature money back and you're gonna break even. People will just like Drake. Like, they will just like it because Drake is on it. That's exactly. kind of like if you, like, come up or doing give it a chance. Yeah, like, that's kind of like if you. I'm, I'm trying to think of a comparison. Because who, who really, whose career was like. Who was able to pivot into like a legit career after a Drake feature? I think it's just Migos and Baby. That's it. After a Drake feature? Um, blo uh, block then Block Boy. No, no, I'm talking about. He did a little no. bit. I'm, I'm talking about. No, he, had, he had a little three months. I'm, 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 I'm talking about a sustainable he, career, not not a one hit wonder. Well, I, I don't I don't want to speak on too many because like sometimes when I hear artists on Drake shit, it'd be the first time like Smiley. I'm like, bro, I don't no, know that, who that was that, that was, was trash. Horrible. Yeah, that was bad. I'm not lie, that song was spectacular though. The more I listened to it, the more I liked it. Can't. What? I don't know what you want to tell I, you. I, I you think, need Drake I think, first. Yeah, I think you need most sleep. Song. No. You need most sleep. Louis you sleep deprived. I think Circle that's why Drake did that. I think he did that for people like you. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, shit. What the that's fuck crazy. does that mean? I'm just saying, because like a mean? normal person heard that shit no, and I, turned I, it off. I thought it was ass. But you know sometimes you give it a chance? Like his most recent album, I was like, man, I was mid. You listen to the old Smiley album? No, no, no. I'm talking about Drake's most recent album. I thought it was a joke. The more I listened to it, the more I liked it. Now I think it was actually a really good album. Drake's album. You're Canadian, though. I know You're that. Canadian? Yeah. Yeah. No wonder why. No wonder why. Nothing to do with that. Anything you Drake touches, you're just going like, like that. That's, that's not how my brain works. That's not how my Not at all. Not at all. Crazy. Because there's, there's lots of Canadian artists like I just don't listen to. Tory Lanez? No, I love Tory Lanez. Okay. Tory Lanez is fire, though. Yeah. He, he I don't listen to rap. Nav. Um, I just recently. Nobody listens to Nav, though. No. Well, he does. No, he doesn't. They listen to Nav? Oh, he doesn't listen to Nav anymore. I forgot. Why? You don't like Nav? On I don't know. You don't One like time I had tickets and you got really pissed off. I didn't invite you. So I <laughs> when he was on SoundCloud. Like, okay, he was on SoundCloud. He got pissed off. He him on go see him? No, he was he upset. He was upset. Out. Yeah, I was he was upset. First, like, set of music they probably would have thought it was him. Was fired. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to the weekend. Anyway, anyway, this, anyway where, where are you from originally? Uh, Virginia, Virginia Beach. What, what's the biggest artist uh, from Virginia? DMV. In Virginia? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Fucking who? The fuck? Pharrell or some shit? The clips, Pharrell, yeah, yeah. Oh, Pharrell. The okay. clips. Who? Yeah, the 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 uh, the clips. Group. Nigga, do you not know who that is? Who the hell? Is Bro, the I hate when he tries to shame me for not being as old as him. Yo, <laughs> nigga, this you grew you grew up off the clips as well. You know their music. How you, how you the spell their name out? The clips. The, the see now my brain is thinking a clip channel on YouTube. No, the clips. Oh my gosh, who's the in the clips? Group? Is, is it a group? group? Is it a person? Yeah, it's, it's a duo. Who's in there? I don't know who the fuck. Who's in the duo? You do know who's in there. Who's in there? Bro, are you gonna 
Fresh is God damn, why are you being oh, different? Fine, fine, push a T. Fuck. Oh, just say push a T. I know him. No, but you Jesus. know, you know, gr- you know, grinding. Grinding is where grinding. Nigga, say push a T next time. It's not the clips. What's wrong with this guy? Well, you just fucking. He's, you're so God damn. So push I hate how when people don't know something, they just say it's because you're old. I don't know. I'm younger. No, like, but he he likes to shame me for not knowing as much as he knows. No, no, I just but said he clip. doesn't know. Nah, I don't shame they, him. Don't. JoJo's the same way. He's the same way. Like, there's movies, there's classic movies that he just don't know. Yeah, but sometimes he's a fucking Triceratops, the dinosaur man. <laughs> he wanted to know all Who? this stuff right Who? here. He could have said movies? push a Tito. He could have said push it, and I'd have been like, oh, okay. Oh yeah, but no, but it's not. It's more accurate. than just You're push being, it. Yeah. There's no saying. It's you, more you, than honestly, just push it. That's I, what I'm saying. I, Kanye I didn't even know the clips existed. Put me on to push it. That's it. But if it wasn't for Kanye, I wouldn't even know Pusha existed. If Pusha didn't don't beef ever, with Drake, don't ever I wouldn't that. even know he existed really. Don't ever say that. Stop. Just shut the fuck up right now. I'm, just I'm not going to lie. I, was like, I, I realized I like, Pusha from Kanye. I didn't even mean that. I was just Yo, trying to be hurtful. We need a, cur- we need a curtain here. Yeah. I'm yeah. sick of you. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm sick of your shit. I'm, 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 I'm hey, young and old. I got your back. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, we, we get the, we get the oil cooking in this bitch. Oil. But you know Pusha's old. But you know Pusha's old. Huh? You listen to dead people and you... They're you not know, the no, dead yet. Oh my bitch. Wait, how old are you? Huh? How do you think I am? Wow, see, that's the yeah. <laughs> Y'all about the same age. <laughs> yeah. 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 You are yeah. the yeah. yeah. one. Yeah. Hey, hey. No, 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 Really? Yeah. Damn. I knew he's gonna do that. I knew. That's exactly. weak, bro. Yeah. That's wow. weak. Wow. See, like, I you, how, like, so I see, I see the connection now. I hate how like late, so late twenties. It's like, yo, I'm supposed to be in a wheelchair. Or no, something. I, I didn't say that. Like, you're still walking. This is like, damn. Oh, like, yeah. Niggas, you listen to. Like, you just still have youth. Like, you didn't. You eat good, work out, move around. You work out? No. Mm. Damn, you about the same age as him, and just like it's going downhill. <laughs> I bet I, I got more stamina clips. than you, bro. Huh? <laughs> I bet I got more stamina than you. <laughs> nah, probably not. No, unlikely, though. How old you say you were? 28. 28. Nah, I could. Actually. Are you Googling? He's lying. Ah, Damn. Damn. He's lying. Now you gotta be, don't lie about your age. Hey, though. I've been telling people I've been 24 for like years. Yeah, low key. I don't believe, believe it. it. Yeah. It's just, it's you, just you, so, you can do the math. You just sat there and you said look you literally could be 24, though. Yeah, you look like you be like twenty one. Honestly, I think they fucked up on my birth certificate. Mm. There's so much shit that don't correlate. They, the government, Mm -hmm. shit don't make sense. But shit, if I'm twenty nine, I'm twenty nine, (laughs) man. This shit is a crazy (laughs) thing to say. It's It's not like a subjective rating. I'm not though. I'm really not twenty nine though. Okay, and how old do you? That shit's wrong. I've been saying that for the longest. You're not. How old are you? Wait, when I I remember the birth year. Is you not born in the 1990s, nigga? What? So how old am I? Who we the don't fuck know. knows? No, 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 no. You were born in the 1980s. You not born in 1990s. You born in the 80s? I'm not in the 80s? That's why you love that music so much. Or am I? Fuck. Mm. No, no. You not born. You not born in the 1990s. Hey, yo, I'm not in the 90s. Wait, wait. What much you think I'm not in the 90s though? Because I, you told me your birthday when we booked the flight. Oh shit! Did I? Did I really though? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not he, gonna lie. He's in the 30s. I'll tell you that he's in the 30s. I know he's in so the 30s. So you're like 34. Because a, a person in their 20s is not saying, he's guess 80. my age. Do yeah, I know, I know. Niggas, niggas in their 20s. Do I look like guess. I'm 34? No, you could. No, he's you, at 30. you 1989. No, I'm not. 1989. <laughs> I'm not. You can see my ID. Hey. But this shit ain't right either. Hey, Maybe. Hey, if you got the young niggas clothes on, you got young niggas clothes on. This ain't right either. This is crazy. We can really see your true identity. Oh, oh shit. look! Oh, the fuck is that? Balance is on. It might be over. Yo, Dante, there's no way you're walking around with a fake. <laughs> what that say? Oh, it oh, says okay. 92. Okay. Well, so you know, how age is, is just a social construct. It's 2022. It is, man. He's 22. Hey. It's no, it's 2022. He was born in 92. Okay, but I didn't, I'm not doing the math in my head. That's why I am. 30. Just 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. God, 30. Damn. Why the fuck are you making this 30? 30. 30. September 2nd. It'll be 30. It'll be 30. So it's coming up. So you're grabbing 30, not Wow, this is like the la- one of the last things you do before you're 30. Play Whoa. about your age. <laughs> Play about my age? Yeah. Hey, I'm locked down to you. Nigga say, guess how old do you think? <laughs> hey, That's yo, who yo, knows he might be I, I, troll, I troll about this shit so much mm-hmm. that whenever this gets posted, like, niggas are going to be like, wait, what? 
Well, we can cut it out if you don't want it in there. Oh, I don't, no, know, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I don't care because I'm still gonna troll about it. Okay, mm. okay, 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 okay. Um, anyway, oh, man. now we got to the bottom of things, man, and, <laughs> and the fact that um, I think we were at KSI's music, and then we we kind of went crazy from there. But yeah, yeah. Sure yeah. Well, well, actually, no, we we go back to reactions of um, songs. We we were pivoting to that point. We're getting to that point mm. in the timeline. Yeah, that's when shit changed. Yeah, that's when shit really changed. Now, before we before I get there, let's be honest, Dante. Was there ever a point where a nigga paid you money and you promoted a trash song in the beginning of some of those videos? All the time, bro. I'm oh, about to say. Man. There's been shit that's that been horrible. Like, yeah. the whole segment was like pay promoted song of the day or whatever. Yeah. And it would be garbage. But that's when I was like really hustling. Like, yeah. how much were they charging? Uh, I would charge $50. That's it? And but this is the thing $50 I would drop Three videos a day uh, Every day A week Monday through Friday So it's like All that shit is adding up And then the bigger I got It eventually maxed out At 150 mm-hmm. A day Or a video 30 seconds And then eventually I stopped doing it Because it was just So many people Hitting you up Hitting me up And they were ass Yeah It was like so many Trash music Did you feel like you needed To bop your head To bad music Because they were paying you Bro, like sometimes I would, you wouldn't even you would just throw the throw the fucking SoundCloud. I would no, I would like there would be a video of me going like this in their music plan. I was listening to a whole different song. Whoa. I would be listening to a whole different song, that's mute crazy. that video audio. No, that's crazy. And then post <laughs> nigga was shit. that bad you could even hear their song. Yes, bro. And I'd be like, hey, y'all, man, if y'all enjoyed that, go ahead and click the link in the description below. Like. You know, I, I had to get it how I could, bro. I had to hustle. I wasn't trying to work like, that Dante, you didn't even job. enjoy that. Nah, you, nah, they would catch on, though. They'd yeah, be like, Dante, yeah. no, he's you, just doing this for a bag, bro. bro his head, not, why you not bobbing on me? It was not. <laughs> <laughs> why are you so happy to this? I'm mad now. <laughs> but at the same time, like, I was doing a good thing. You know, I was giving people a chance, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Comments, comments, was, comments was shitting on them, but I didn't make them do that. They chose to do that. No, with I mean, bad yeah. music. That's a, yeah. that's a good ass point, man. They're trying to promote bad music. I don't know what they expected. But they think that it's good, though. Yeah, and they think they, they like it. And they really thought it was good, too. Isn't sure. that so tragic? I had a friend one time that made music so bad, but nobody told him, and he oh just kept God, making music. Exactly See, that's he, the bad. He kept making music. I'm like, so stop. nobody didn't tell him? Or you Did told you tell him? him? I gotta I normalize that. I don't want to break it to him. I'm not the guy. It, no, it is hard. It is hard to say that. It is hard yeah, to say that. Somebody needs to tell these niggas though. But so we gotta, gotta, we gotta normalize there. that. There's a lot of people out yes. there right now making music, and they have no talent. So what would you say to those people? Just stop, bro. <laughs> like if you if you ever find yourself having to go to comments, be like, yo, check my recent. Maybe like realize that nobody wanted to check it at right. all. Like if you making drill music and niggas laugh, stop. You yeah. make love music and niggas get mad, stop. When they first hear that audio and they're like, "This is you," mm. like it's not a good like. Oh, this you? Mm-hmm. This is like this. This is you. Why do you sound like that? Mm. Like why is this so <laughs> That's ass? Crazy. Mm-hmm. The niggas that kill me though is on the um instrumental like the beats mm-hmm. and they be like yo I just killed this shit on my channel I, dog I you did all right shit. go <laughs> go did. check this out the producer or, did not or, now, you know or, what or I the love? producer would drop it and they be like yo can I get this shit for free I'm like nigga there's no way nah, you, you got to do bro you got to go to the tight beat community I love first of all they there's some fire ass beats Bruh, in there for hella sure. cheap but when you go in the comments niggas is writing entire albums they are different the in there yes they're different like they they be talking from the bottom of their hearts in the comment section some of them have like intros of like yo Oh, you already know who this is <laughs> into verse one I'm like what the fuck <laughs> why would you include that in the other that's right? crazy think how mad producers gotta be when they have a good beat and a nigga buy it and just just buy exclusively and, yeah. and, now, and now the big rappers don't even want to rap crazy. on it like that beat was hard you sold it to that, that little nigga over there that nigga fuck that shit up I, I, feel never like I, be that. I feel like I did that in the previous cypher not this year's cypher but the one before where oh, the beat be so good you be excited in the yeah, beginning yeah, and and it it when they come in <laughs> I just started from the bottom yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, you should stay there. Yeah. Yeah. This shit, yeah. you ain't going nowhere. It's like, like, hey, like, man. Being a regular in a beat type comment section is crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Being a regular, is but you know, crazy. you know, the beautiful thing about it is, is like, no well, matter I'm about how to go crazy on this one, no matter how, and I wonder how many are, people reply to him, be like, yo, I'm glad you seen this one, bro. Like, what? But oh, isn't no. that like, isn't that just kind of like going to the rec center and seeing all the horrible basketball players? But they know no, they can't. But no. they, they know they can't actually no. make it to the league. No, it's not about making the it to the league. Free. Is they think they're nice at the rec center, bro? They'll be playing their hearts out like they really could hoop. But have you mm. seen niggas in the comment section saying, "Yo, me and Drake's really I, niggas will have literal features to niggas Drake songs." The same thing. They'd be like, "I drop off Michael Jordan right now if he's in front of me." Like people say shit like that all the time. It's the same I get, thing. Yeah, I, I, I get it's the, the same comparison. Thing. I get the comparison. People hoop all the but time. I feel like people in the comment section are way more delusional. 
No, nah, me and Loop, Loop gonna bring this one back, brother. How many basketball? How many? How many human beings you talked to that told you they could have made it to the league or to the next level? So many people. Way more people who think they could go platinum. Dead I promise ass. You, right now. you know how many people are like, yo, this is the this, one, and then that one is happening. Yeah. Yo, I told you about the last one. But this, this one right one? here is going to shake it up. I can see that because when you play basketball, like Ninja. there's 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 a field goal percentage. Like there's no field goal percentage there's to nine. how good or bad your song is. So like yeah. sometimes you could just lose somewhere. Yeah. Yo, like, this is the one, and after a hundred of these are the ones, they are Amazon. Facts. <laughs> Because a nigga can go 0 for 100. A nigga yeah. can go 0 for 100 and you'll never know. This who is the one. You'll yeah, never bro, know. You said that last year, this bro. Is We're the still one. hungry, bro. Because nobody keep, yeah, nobody's, mama. nobody's keeping <laughs> score that. Nobody's keeping tally of that. So yeah, like, like if I know you turned the ball over two or three times in the last possession, bro. Let's come on, let's get it. So how long before you should give up though? Because like someone like Dave Chappelle, his first ever attempt at stand-up comedy went very successfully. Everyone's like, he's that guy. Mm -hmm. Same with LeBron James. Like, he came into the NBA, everyone gave him high expectations, and he met him. And then there's other people, like Russ, where, like, he just dropped hella music before he ever blew up, or or in basketball. Who's that guy with the Lakers? Um, um, uh, Andre... The giant. Ingram. 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 Uh, where, like, he was in the G League for centuries before he eventually made but it. He didn't really. Well, I, I know, just I know. But, like, there's people, like, how how long should you be trying to push through well, something? Well, you got to braid your, your daughter's hair because you using her hair money for studio time. That's what you should Yeah, when you start dipping into other things, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you just got to know when to stop, But what bro? if you're avoiding, like, other responsibilities because you're trying to prioritize this thing? So, like, maybe you don't have a daughter, but, like, you're trying, you're so tunnel focused on this one thing and it's, like, not working. That's a shallow tunnel right there. Look, like, if yeah, you, of course. If you push in, if you push in 30 and, like, you don't have your career set, you don't have your priorities set, and you're still trying to push out the music and nothing is working, mm -hmm. you should probably, like, reconsider. I don't say that, like, you don't have to stop. You, say that, you don't have to stop, but, like, you that should not you should not be on every YouTube section like posting a link to your video. And then you have that yeah, good friend. Wanna, Academics post like, yo, check out yeah, my new that's, shit. That's Odie. I want to say because Kanye was late twenties, into the thirties when he first dropped. But what, that's, when you, that's when he. Yeah. That's when he. Yeah. He was successful as a producer before he dropped. But music all that though. stuff was relatively around the same time. It wasn't like yeah, he, was he was seeing for like progress though. Like, he was but seeing he had stuff going on. He had stuff going on. If you don't see no progress, if in year. Five, you were exactly where you were in year two. It's like okay, that we, makes sense. Because niggas always be like, if I give up today, man, I can win tomorrow. Yeah, if you if you yeah. don't see no progress off, you in the exact same position you were three years ago. It's done. Like, come on, like yeah, we're like, not making no progress. Bro. That's where the, the the delusion comes, and then people end up fucking homeless. But also, let's we keep it a being. We gotta do a better job telling these niggas they trash. That is true, but no, that shit's we, hard to do. No. Close trash or needs improvement. No, but we we all have close friends that are trash. That mm. we just need to take. You just said, didn't say you do. Like, they'll, oh, play, some, they'll, they'll play, play something for you. Oh, but just a friend. They'll yeah. play something for you, and you know it's bad, but you'll be like, I'm like, mm, okay, I see where you're I going. See, I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But in reality, you're almost there. it's so, hard to, you know, just be like, that's, so, that's not it. What should we say now? I want to hear everybody respond. So I think you should tell them, like, how it is, man. If, like, uh, actually, I take it back, bro. I'm lying. Like, I don't, I don't want to tell them the truth. Because <laughs> unless I'm really close <laughs> to you, now, bro, I'm not breaking your anybody heart. Anybody that play your music will know you're lying. I don't give a fuck. Mm. I'm not like the. I'm not they the A and R. I was lying before. I, I'm not an A and R. I don't care what you think about my opinion. So what about you your gonna music. say, Lo? Sure. So I just played sure. you a bad song. I'm, I'm just be like, like, hey yo. man, Amazon hiring. That's what I'll be like, nigga. Ah, stop, That's bro. You know this is a hit. You know this is a hit. This <laughs> gonna, this gonna really bring them back. They, they don't have this in the industry, and they're missing me. I was like, you need to, you need to bring back that, uh, that resume, nigga. Because huh? nah, <laughs> let me run it back. Let me run it back. You didn't really feel it. Let me turn it up. Some turn the music up. That's the so worst. Yeah, you don't got no full volume. You don't got no full. The problem is musicians are so confident that like even my hesitation is not. Bro, one time I was in Miami and a stranger played me his music. I was like, bro, I gotta go. He's like, nah, listen to this one song. Oh my god. It was cool. He's like, nah, but listen. No. I was there with this, you. This, yeah, you were. This second song, it was oh, even yes. better. He played a second song. I was like, I really got to go. What was I doing? I was ignoring the fuck out of him because I was like, bro, why are y'all entertaining? This I'm not nigga? entertaining him. I was in my fucking car. No, no, no. <laughs> but y'all, y'all were like making. I, I don't even make eye contact with those niggas. Now, I didn't think he was gonna play I, me three songs, yes, bro. I vividly remember that now. <laughs> I didn't think he's gonna play me you three songs. You and Caleb were making eye contact with this nigga, and I'm like, stop looking at him, bro. He's looking for confirmation. That's how it be. That, that happened to me at the mall too. Sometimes you play these three songs and all were bad. No, no, no. I'm not gonna lie. They weren't bad, but I just didn't want to listen to him. You know when a song is like good, but you never play it. Yeah, it's one of them. Oh, okay. I would never play it, but it was it wasn't bad. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So wait, how, how often does that happen to you? I'm all sure it happens every day. Uh, like 
on like the, on social media, that shit happens all the time. So yeah. many people link me their stuff. I'd be telling them I don't do the promos anymore. Like I've been stopped doing that. Yeah. And people will still send me shit. Like, yo, I know you don't really do promos anymore, but just get this five seconds, bro. I promise you, you'll like it. I never open it. Yeah. I don't care. I really don't care. There's, there's so much music on the planet. Like, what if yes. you're missing the one though? Then oh Stop. fucking well. What if, what, what, if, what, if, what, if, what if what if one day Nardwar interviews you like, yo, I heard that you Bro, you were the first person it's to know that already Dada. happened. You know how many times like how many people have blown up and then like I see they blow up and I check my messages and they message me back like in yeah. 2018. Oh, like, yo, can fuck you with my new one shit. Of, can you say one of them? Uh and it's not it's not a bad thing. Like Lil Tecca had messaged me before. Oh, for real. And like just other artists that are up now have messaged me back but then. Nardwar could be asking you, I heard you was the first one who who listened to Lil Tecca's new greatest hit. But that's the thing, like, <laughs> I reacted to this shit though. Yeah, I okay. just I just miss some messages sometimes because like, bro, 2018, 2017 was a crazy year. And so many fucking artists were in my were in my messages. So So let's actually go to that because okay, so when you when you first start blowing up off of um, album reviews I mean or just Album reviewing songs I'm assuming that is The way you made money Was just solely promoting Because you're getting mm -hmm. Hit with um, copyright claim I'm assuming Yeah It was it was promoting And like At that time bro A lot of Record labels Like once I really started Getting up there Record labels would like Pay me to react to their artists Or some okay. shit like that So it was like Stuff like that When, when you were um, What was the first one That really kind of like Set the tone For who you were In that space uh fuck. Um I think it was probably most definitely one of X's reactions. Okay. Um cuz I think that's he was like one of the first artists that really hit me. Hit me and was like, "Yeah, I'm really fucking with what you're doing." I I think Ski hit me first, but it was one of the two. They had hit me first and I was like, "Oh, damn." So like artists watch this shit mm -hmm. and they actually fuck with it. And that's when I started doing more different artists and more music. Okay. So when when that's when that's happening and you're growing, is it like, is it, how, how surreal is it? Like when you're getting hit by like artists and be like, yo nigga, yo, like I see what you're doing. Like hit me up. Because I think at that point outside of academics, I can't really think too many other people. Well, I guess, I don't know if that was around the everyday struggle wasn't at that time yet. I don't think it was. Uh, yeah, no, not, not, not just yet. No. So but at the, I believe at that time though, between <laughs> academics and really you, I can't imagine there were that many other people in a music scene, at least like mm -hmm. really setting a tone for what like it meant. So yeah, more of a new media type. Yeah, that uh, and at that time that was like the SoundCloud era where artists was coming up. So like Trippy Red and all those people, and just to have them reach out and sending me their shit or telling me that I got to check this out, check that out. It was just dope, you know, to have all these artists come out of nowhere and really fuck with you just based off your reactions and shit That's like right. that. So, have you ever gained any type? I know you were relationship with your ex, but anybody else that you kind of gained a relationship with? Uh, just like sharing links um fuck not nah, not that i can think of a lot of it was just like here and there like hey what's up dropping this hey i appreciate that one that really surprised me was like post malone mm. i had reacted to something post malone drop it was a um and then motley crew or some shit like that and he had he had followed me on instagram i was telling me he fucked with my shit yeah. i was like what the fuck but <laughs> other than that i think x was like the main artist that was like just real yeah. a lot of artists try to be too cool like you know they kind of had me there but x like gave me his number like we talk facetime and all that shit he was like so the coolest fire. person i ever fucking met ever uh artist wise so uh no one else really even comes close to that to be honest when you when you're doing that and you're, you're trying to build an audience are you like aware of like you never like you're sitting there like sitting there listening to the song you're like man this shit is Low key trash, but I gotta, I gotta just. That's yo. <laughs> that's why, like, a, a lot of these record labels, when they would hit me, they would want me to react to like their up and coming artists mm. or new artists that they just signed. And I would listen to it, and I'd be like, "Damn, I don't think." Unfortunately, I don't think I'd be able to do this because yeah. it would be bad. <laughs> but then they tell me how much they would pay me, and I'd be like, "Okay, I'll check it out." And I would have to do so many edits around it to make it seem like. You're it wasn't, yeah, that it wasn't ass. Like you could tell that I, it wasn't the best thing I heard, but it didn't. I didn't make it look like it was like the worst thing ever. Can I ask how much? You don't have to say, but how much do they pay? Like ballpark. Um, well, then back then, like I wasn't even. I don't. 
I would say like it was like 10k damn for, for like a reaction that's really good yeah especially for what i was at i mean i think i was at a decent size too but it was like a 10k for a reaction but i had to stop doing that because obviously if they pay you that much money they're expecting like a positive reaction. a positive reaction and a crazy reaction mm-hmm. and when you listen to something that's not that good it's gonna be hard to be like oh Yo, what the fuck? You a crazy reaction <laughs> Bro, but like, that's the thing. Damn, that'll destroy that'll destroy your credibility, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And then people will be like, "Damn, you kind of fuck with anything." And so, like, I just uh, had so to be real. No, 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 no. When I say crazy reaction. If it's bad, it's bad. Oh, but then like, no, so the labels don't want you to be honest. No, they they don't. They don't. No. They don't. Let's be uh, honest. No, they really honest. don't. No, <laughs> they paying <laughs> you. They paying you to you know yeah. hype Think about shit up. All those yeah. niggas that are in debt right now, getting on three sixty deals. They label just throwing all this money. Yep. Hey, ten thousand, fifteen thousand. React to him. Yeah, hey, he's but good. you throw it. You throw it to he the right person. All back. You throw it to the right person. They'll turn up for you. <laughs> they'll they'll get lit. Oh, yeah, I, I know there's definitely some YouTubers that do that, but I just oh. I just couldn't do that shit. Mm. Right, hey. None of my business, my oh brother. My but they get exist, your though. motherfucking bag, but they definitely exist. I'll be mm-hmm. seeing it and I'll be like, yeah. damn, bro. Used to fuck with you too, but I guess, you know, money talks, I, I guess. Yeah, the good thing about doing any other sort of ad is that, like, if a Hershey's hits me up, I'll be like, I already like their chocolate. Like, mm-hmm. you know yeah. how you feel about certain brands. That's how, like, that, yeah, that's how I am with ads too. But, like, when it's music, you listen, they need your reaction. So, unless you just fake it, but your first time listening to it is going to be when you're recording. Yeah. Like, oh, hope this shit gets good because yeah, they just paid tough. me 10 bands. That's why I, especially once I started live streaming, I, I had to cut that shit out. Yeah. Like, yeah, I could do, just do it live. And then when you're in the middle of it, like, if I'm pre recording, I can just cut that video off halfway through. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, this is not it. But if I'm live streaming and I'm halfway through and I'm like, this is bad, and I see chat spamming L, 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 L I'm L, like, L. oh, fuck. Yeah, because that's what the label will use. That's a crazy the label will use your screenshot, nah, they and they will see the all the L's. I'm in a no, no, fucking no, predicament. I'm in a fucking predicament, bro. I'm in a fucking predicament, bro. Just imagine being 10K and then nothing but L's on this nigga's screen, bro. That's yeah. crazy. Shit, bro. I just recently started reacting to music. No matter what song I put on, this shit is a majority L, 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 L. They'll be like, play Young Boy, Young Boy drop, Young Boy drop. Oh. And they'll play Young Boy, and then they'll be like, L, 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 L. Yes, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? People have spammed me to react to Young Boy, and when I play it, They'd be like, yo, turn this off, bruh. Who <laughs> because for this? it'll be niggas that spam it, that want you to play a song, and the niggas that like what you're playing don't say nothing. Yeah, Then when you play now. young boy, the niggas that like what you're playing before, now they spam the L's. Yeah. It's the fucking cycle. Or niggas say, I'm, un- I'm unsubbing. If, I, if I'm an artist, and I pay someone to rack to me, and niggas start up-subbing, <laughs> <That's laughs> I'm like, damn, I need to give it up. Like, yeah, look at my budget. Fun, look at my bands. You probably get hit up a lot by like producers and and like artists and and, and that sort. Like, mm-hmm. does it? I wonder like what that what the, what is that experience like? Because like, you, especially if it's someone that you're a fan of, yeah. Um, not a, when you once you build a relationship with them, like you're not gonna want to shit on their song, mm-hmm. even if they drop some actual ass. Yeah. So like, how do you balance like being a good friend with like? Also, not pretending like you like some shit that you don't. Damn, that's a good ass question, bro. That's that's actually a really good question because I I do have to deal with that. Um, but luckily, a lot of the artists that I do fuck with, I I do like their music. Like their mm-hmm. music is good, and I do get hyped to it. The hardest thing is trying to adjust with live streaming and reacting to it mm-hmm. in a chat that doesn't like them. Mm-hmm. For example, the Kid Leroy. That's my fucking guy. Mm-hmm. I, love I like his, his music a lot. I love. Is that his how you mu- say his name? The Ki- the Killer Roy, yeah, Roy, yeah. Killer Roy, my whole life. That's Ray? tragic. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm yeah, Killer Roy, like, fucking hates the that Leroy. shit. <laughs> it's Leroy. Don't but, tell him I said that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, like I, I love his music. But there's people in my chat that do not fuck with it. Wow. So like, they'll just be spamming L's. They'll be spamming L's, and I'm like, yo, give it a come on, y'all. Let a, I have to like play around with it. Mm-hmm. So luckily, I don't have to deal with like something being bad, and I'm like, fuck, bro. Like, yeah, I'll check it out, bro. I'll, I'll check it out. Killer Ray's dropped good projects, though. You heard his new song with yeah, yeah. uh, Nardo Rick? Hell yeah. Burning up. That's just hard. Yeah. So good. A, my, my chat, this would be better if the Killer Roy wasn't in it. What the fuck? They, they said that when I reacted to it. I like that song a lot. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, w- with reacting to music, if you like something, they call you dick writer and say you like anything. Yeah. If you say you don't like something, you're, you're a fucking hater. I, yeah. lie. I think that's our community is kind of unraveling. It's fucked up. It's unraveling in yeah. that direction. It's, it's pretty, fucked up. It's pretty trash right now. I ain't gonna hold you. It, with that specific thing, if you like something, that's the same yeah, thing. You call me a hater. Dig, 
Just no, earlier today. You're legitimately hating right now. You was How? you was hating earlier. I, I said I never heard none of his new stuff. I said I heard some of his old stuff. No, you literally sat there and said, like, oh well, the music video definitely probably made it better than what it was. Yeah, that was yeah, crazy. That, that, sounds was like crazy. Hate. that sounds like a top <laughs> comment hate. Yeah, that was crazy. Nah, nah, nah. But doesn't a music video make songs better? If you listen to it, you watch a yeah, music video. 100%, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. But like like Cole Bennett, when he put an artist on a video, yeah, that, you watch it and you like you kinda video? like the song better. Doja, but that music video made the song a lot better. Exactly. It makes you like the song better. Yeah. If the song is good. Already Then it's a bonus Hey this portion of the podcast Right here Is brought to you By Shopify Hey listen to the sound Real quick That's the sound of money Right there That's the sound of a new sale On Spotify What's what's so funny (laughs) No You're not familiar Let me hear that again Ah Can you turn it up Can you turn it up Yeah Yeah, Turn that shit up Turn it up Ah. Ah. That's the sound of money You feel me One more time actually Oh Man, a lot of That's paper coming in. A lot of, of paper coming in right there on Shopify. Look, back in the day, man, you had to learn all different type of programming technology just to be able to make a website. Nowadays, Shopify made it easy, man. Back in the day, man, when I made my merch, I did it through Shopify, and the amount of positive comments I got about like people were just so impressed that I was able to make a website. But mm. really, Shopify made the entire process very easy for me. Not only that, man, but they got hella insights. So the all type of different analytics and information on your customers so you can better sell to them. You feel me? I was able to sell like thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. And this was back in t- t- Damn. T- t- thousands. It's, it's like hundreds of orders. Man, that's a crazy commitment. <laughs> hundreds, thousands, <laughs> hundreds of orders. No cap. No, I really was. And, oh, and they made the whole process easy. And it, it's, it's actually pretty fascinating. It's fascinating how simple they make the entire process. Look, if you're trying to start a business or you sell anything online, you need a website and who better to go to than Shopify. You can synchronize with just about any social platform you use. And on top of that, millions of people are already using Shopify. It's the easy option and it's super affordable. Take this in. Go to shopify.com slash peer to peer, all lowercase, for a free 14 day trial. Ooh, and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow a business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash peer to peer right now. Shopify.com slash peer to peer. Huge thank you to Shopify for sponsoring this portion of the podcast. You ever think about starting a label? No, 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 never. I don't want to deal with artists. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to be around artists. I was supposed to host Rolling Loud. Oh, turn Damn. that shit. Oh, for real? Turn that shit down. Why's that? What? I don't want to be like, bro. Yeah, it's cool when you're doing reactions and they messaging you and like, yo, man, fuck with you. You'll see fuck these with niggas you in real life. But then you like their ego is crazy. The yeah. rapper ego is nuts. They, it's crazy. They'll it's like. Insane. They got six sorry niggas on your label all complaining like, bro, and, come and, on. And, I'm not blowing yet. And I'm still stuck circle, at 2K like, views. They're, they're, so, like, there's the people they roll with. All of them have the same ego. Yes. Like they put out hit songs. Like, who are you? And it's just like, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm yeah, good. It's a, it's oh, yeah. a, it was rapper just, it, ego it, it, is unmatched. It's it's higher than athlete ego. It's higher than entertainer. It's higher than actor ego. I'm <laughs> rapper ego is yeah, insane. It's out of it's out it's of control. They feel average. like they it's feel like they're owed like so much and and, and shit like that. But nah. I guess. Yeah, all these niggas not kind. Nah, you give it's a rapper Kanye. some gold, Kanye. some designer. <laughs> all y'all niggas not a Kanye. gold digger. A nice car <laughs> and a good song that get at least three hundred k views. A gold oh yeah, <laughs> they think they up top. Yeah, that nigga. Oh, wait, can we go back? Because I think I actually I think it's unfair. Especially listening to a song live or album live, because like your first listen to it isn't going to be but how that's you. That's what a reaction is, though. I know, exactly. but that's but, but it's if un- you were reviewing know, it, that'd be different. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you're reviewing it, that's Ex- completely unfair. It is. Some, go- some Bro, songs grow. The play yeah. the Playboy Cardi Die Lit album, I reacted to it on my channel like three whatever the fuck it came out years ago. I still be getting hate for that. Because I didn't like every single song when it dropped. Jeez. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Your I, takes have to age well. They, yes. age, they have to age well. So it's like you listen to a song. Like you said, when you first heard that Smiley Drake shit, mm-hmm. like you thought it was dumb at first, but then yeah. you kept... That's what you happened with me good. with Die Lit. So like years later, I'm like blasting Die Lit on my stream. Like, I thought you didn't like the album. <laughs> what the fuck? That was years ago, and I never said I didn't like it. I always thought about that. So um, I, I, I watch Anthony Fantano here or this, but like when it's an album, like I'm like, should I listen to that? And mm-hmm. I always like, that guy has to be on point because his takes will last forever. So like yeah. when an iconic album like Good Kid, Mad City drops and he has to review it, like he can't be wrong. Yeah. He has to know that that's one of the greatest shits we've all heard. Mm-hmm. And if he's wrong about that bold ass take, everyone's on his asshole about it. That's why I can't do that. Like ra- ra- I don't do ratings. I don't do in-depth critique 
uh, analysis yeah. I just sit there and I listen to the music I hear little things I That's like better I talk that about it yeah. I'm actually, I think it benefits though I just think it benefits but I think like because I said that the future album wasn't that good off of the first yep. week of me listening he to had it. apologized but to Atlanta now, yeah. I had to save him yeah. no, no, was on him. I, had to, I, I was like, I'm like leave his big ass alone I'll, I'll take responsibility but luckily Please. for me I'm not a like niggas don't hold on to my music yeah it like would be that, a lot worse be, but the yeah. same thing with the Baby Please Keem album him. like that last Baby Keem album the first like he few dropped? days no no like last year or something oh, like that. okay like last Relax. week, like the first few days of it, I, I was like, for that. Eh. "Yeah, I know." <laughs> what? Well, that's yeah, yeah, I'm you, Dante. Where, <laughs> I listen. I listen to Baby King so much. I'm like, I actually want to listen to it. Like, and I hope he dropping another album. But his mm. first like few days of that dropping, I was like, "Yeah." Now really? that I like shit his album. Slap. Nah, See, that's, that's, you can't say shit like that. You can't say, you can't say like shit that. like that because then they'd be like, "Nah, you only saying that because everybody else is saying it now." It's like, no, you like you. You started listening to it. You kept listening to it, and you fucked with it. Yeah, if I listen to an album. And it start off bad and I stop and niggas say it's good, I'll give it another chance. And I'll listen to the whole thing throughout. But if I'm listening to the first three songs and it's, I'll just leave off of it. Mm-hmm. And I'll come back to it whenever. But then also on the flip side, I think niggas be dick riding when they be like, yo, this is a classic. Same, bro. After, after two days, I'm like, there's no way you know it's a classic. And after two days, like Drake will drop something, Literally twelve after hours after he dropped, niggas Los is on t- on Twitter, fucking classic. I'm like, nigga, get off his dick. Los. <laughs> I, every time Drake yeah, drops yeah. Los and annoying Twitter pages, is like <laughs> it's like fucking crazy. insane. <laughs> they're like, yeah, niggas doing predictions. <laughs> like, like, oh my like, god, they're god. like, I give away my fucking kidney if Drake doesn't do 500k for his week. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like nah. I feel like Drake at a level where he can't drop nothing bad. Mm, he can yes no he can but like he can. his uh, he's at a level where his fans or will not, not say it and admit no, that it's no I mean bad. not like drop nothing bad but I feel like in a while. The people he's around and how long he's been doing it and how much expectation oh, yeah. nobody not going to let him drop nothing bad now he definitely got people around he's, him and be like no this is not it yeah. that's not it but like he, I feel he like has, he can't he, he drops, drops so a bad. trash album like say he just says okay I don't want no outside opinion I'm going to drop all the stuff I like and he just dropped it with nobody consulting. And by like, damn, Drake, this is bad. This, you I disagree. Left I don't think you last as long as he did be as relevant as he did without like that intuition. I don't think that's you what were, I'm I don't think you're just surrounded by the uh, intuition. I think he has it. I think he has it. Mm. But I, I definitely know no. for he has people around. No, he has him. niggas. It, I know like he, he has, has people around him. It's a mix of both. I think yeah, like, a, both. A, a lot of artists have people around them and still don't do what he's been able to do. True. You, you, but you got to have outside. No, he definitely in his he position. I'm not saying he doesn't. He gets saying, so much I pressure. Does. I think it's a mix. I'm, I'm saying he got to be good. One though, it's like Mr. Beast having outside strategists, but he's also really so smart. It's, it's Roddy Rich yeah, talking yeah. to niggas now. He <laughs> gonna get some advice. This shit he just dropped. I bet he talking to niggas. Oh, hold on, he just dropped a really good EP though, like a three song. No, uh, yeah, no, no. The album he better. Yeah, that didn't he drop last time. He only had like a couple on there. We waited a long time, and I yeah. like Roddy Rich. Weren't people like? Dragging him on Twitter for what that Yo, last dragging him. That, yeah. that last time for that. waiting this long and but dropping it's what, that is, is how he did it though because he he said he wanted to live life and then yeah. rap about his experiences yeah. and then rap about the same thing. Yeah, yeah. should have died yes. and came back. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't good. What? Jesus what? He said he wanted to live life. It's a metaphor, <laughs> not die for real. Oh my! Come God. on now, Jesus. <laughs> this, this fucking, Roddy Rich yeah. is also he's very talented, but like he doesn't. Have, <laughs> no. Yeah, you don't got a dick son. Now I like it. Oh, he did bad. I was, I was, I was, I was upset no, as a fan. Chad. Now he's chat. Yo, <laughs> I was upset as a fan. No, I was too at the album, and I thought if I listened to it more, I'd like it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. At your, it was only a couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you when you were um when you were peaking um with the music reviews and stuff like that, did you um did you ever like think to yourself like this could like manifest into something bigger than just YouTube because because even at this time I think you were still dropping music correct mm-hmm. around that time and stuff like that yeah so was it something that you ever thought um, could be much bigger because like I, like I was alluding to before academics was going to complex starting yeah. his own thing um, Anthony Fantano still kind of states himself but I think even he grew in, in some capacities as well mm-hmm. would you ever think like that was going to manifest to something more than that or it was kind of just like this is kind of like my new reality of just where I am at on YouTube. Um, in my mind, I was just kind of, I was fine and content with where I was, yeah. but things were trying to go in a direction that I really didn't want it to. Like artists, when I was making music and stuff, actually was like down to collab on stuff, but I was like, I don't, I didn't want to do that. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like that. Like mm-hmm. at that type of level where it's like, I can't do anything because i like just driving and go to target just for some shit or just sitting in my car or some shit like that Mm -hmm. so i never wanted to get crazy like that um as far as like a 
everyday struggle type thing. I know there was supposed to be something going on with like double XL uh, back then when I was reacting double XL and stuff like that. But I, I didn't try to do that either. I didn't try to pursue, pursue any of that either. I was just fine making my videos. Okay. And that's kind of how I am now. I'm fine streaming. Yeah. Like I don't want to host no, no nothing. I just want to stream. That's right. it. So let's talk about it because you yeah, you transitioned about like a year, a year or so ago. Yeah. Where you just solely streamed. Yep. When you made that transition, I'm assuming you definitely felt more free with the type of content you could produce. Bro, most definitely. And the reason why I had to do that is because like everything was getting copyrighted and it was like this company called UMG. Mm. Everybody knows. Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They smacked the fuck out of my channel. Almost lost it. Yeah, I saw that video. Yeah. yeah. So I just said, fuck it. Started streaming on my on another channel and eventually moved to Twitch. Okay. And yeah. So when you when you um start doing that, because now that kind of just pivoted into more of a variety type of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that's actually I think I, I want to say you are one of the more impressive pivots because you went from just solo um music, music yeah. to like people actually fucking what like who you are as a person. Which is and crazy. Shit like that, which is very crazy. And I think I think is underrated and I don't think a lot of people obviously who watch don't understand the complexities of like how to actually pull that shit off mm -hmm. because of course people be like oh, like nigga start reacting to them videos yeah, start yeah, reacting yeah. to them songs again nigga but yeah. like what, what was was your strategy or were you just being yourself and how long do you do you did it take to like really build the community that you have right now um it was myself and like a little bit of strategy cuz I was like okay well damn if like this copyright shit is really getting like this yeah. I can't just keep doing this music shit. That's when it really hit me when I, when I was about to lose my channel. I was like, damn, so this ain't really something that's sustainable. Yeah. Like, even with these record labels paying me and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just stream shit that I watch when I'm not on, like, stream or mm -hmm. on YouTube. And I just started watching regular stuff uh, and just added some jokes to it. And mm -hmm. I guess people fucked with it. And then my stupid, goofy-ass laugh and... Uh, that shit just blew up. Like everybody just started fucking with my shit, and it just blew the fuck up. When you started streaming on Twitch, how what was your numbers looking like? Um, fuck. When I first started streaming on Twitch, I was like at five hundred viewers. Okay. Uh, because I was on YouTube and I was like at two thousand, and then I lost my YouTube live streaming ability, and I just switched to Twitch, and then I was like at five hundred. So when you when you on that grind from five hundred to where you are now. Um, are are people like recognizing you for that? Are people still pushing that, or are they slowly kind of getting used to like, oh no, this nigga just does everything. Like he can just react to anything. They kind of know that I can just react. I just react to anything. Uh -huh. It used to be like at the start, every everything in chat was spammed was music. Mm -hmm. Like they just wanted me to react to a certain artist. But now it's just like literally anything you think of, I'll get a donation and people ask about it, and then I'll just. I'll check it out if I want to. Uh -huh. And then stuff that I think is not going to hit or nobody cares about, I'll throw it up on my plug channel and that shit just gets hundreds of thousands of views. Which is something that, yeah, that's that's the more impressive part, which I think between you, Rage, I think Kai is doing that right now. Or I think really almost everybody's kind of doing it. You kind of kind of just need like a second, a second channel for a plug channel and shit like that. <clears throat> Was there... Um, I think I personally think that's like just the easiest way to just create mm -hmm. content after stream. Was there ever like a fear though that like um, when when you're making that pivot that maybe the um, cause like you said, you had to pick and choose like what you want to upload. Yeah. Like that. Was there a fear like maybe this wasn't going to stick or was there any strategy with that as well? Or how did that go? Yeah. I thought, um, I honestly thought the numbers were going to go down cause on my, on my main channel, I was like going crazy and then to make the switch from music to just random shit, I was thinking, fuck, well, you know, I guess shit could go bad here, yeah. but I'm just going to try it anyway. And then I just started posting shit and I don't know, shit just started taking off immediately. Yeah. And it's like, the thing was, it wasn't even intentional. Like people were already taking my shit from stream and putting it on their YouTube yeah. channels. And I seen how many views it was getting. I was like, wait, I can just do this shit myself. Yeah. So that's why I started doing it. So yeah, plug y'all plug niggas is through. Yo, bro. I hate those niggas. <laughs> I think I'm like the main person to say like I feel like it's fucked up to go on YouTube and see y'all niggas like AMP and Josh and all these people, Bruce, get thousands of views stolen from them from some random person. Yeah, the mm -hmm. most hurtful one I ever seen 
was a plug that plugged the Tory Lanez and Aiden freestyle. And it has like 70 million views. And it's like... <laughs> 70 million? Yes. <laughs> that, that sound alone... Has more now. That, that sound alone on TikTok just fucking... That, it was, that shit it was probably the greatest spins. freestyle I heard in my life. And it was on Aiden's stream. And someone just clipped it immediately when it was live and posted it. And when you look, Aiden uploaded on his channel and has like a few million on his channel. It sucks. It's but he has fuck. 70 million on other <laughs> How much is that? To millions yeah, of that's, dollars. That's, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of that's money. That's millions of dollars? Yeah. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that nigga just changed his life. Yeah. yeah off a a clip. Clip. I don't know. I don't know how monetizable it was because they were using so, the... Uh, well, make, let me, let instrumental me clap, clap with the French Montana song. Was it Soldier Boy? That Soldier, Soldier Boy. Boy. Soldier Boy. Yeah. She make it clap. So clap. it might have been copyrighted, but it's still hella views. I don't give a fuck if you made money. And it's oh. like people take advantage of that. The people who were taking my clips and putting it on their uh, YouTube channel, they started putting ads in front of their shit. Yeah, and they were like, "Yo, if you want uh, something done, you know, let me know down in the comments and then oh, email that's me." Crazy. That's what I'm saying. It's like I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna just make my own shit." And I feel like that's how a lot of people should do it. Because these dudes are running rampant right now. These plug channels are running rampant with content. Yeah. And like nobody's really checking them because I don't think a lot of people care. But me personally, I was like, nah, fuck that shit. So mm. people just know, like, just leave my shit alone. But they do that on TikTok right now, though. Well, yeah, TikTok, I can't, I can't even fucking control it. Yeah. TikTok is just fucking I ain't gonna lie, TikTok. My shit is all over yeah, the place. This nigga's almost like Andrew Tate on TikTok. I was I, like, nigga, this nigga's everywhere on TikTok I can't right now. Do sh- like, I can't do shit without it going on TikTok, and I'm just at a point where it's like, you know what? I'm fine with it because one, it's gonna be impossible for me to get all this shit down. Mm-hmm. Two, I guess it's promotion. I, I yeah. guess I can look at it that way, and I, it's it's fine. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I thought this nigga was running a, a content farm on TikTok. That's how much, how many channels this nigga. Yeah, has there's like this one really, crazy. really, really big channel like that's I'm not Dante, that's going crazy. And like people following that shit think it's me. I'm not. I ain't gonna lie. I think that's the one I follow, and I thought it was you. And then I saw another another one. I'm really not Dante. Yeah. (laughs) No, I swear I'm not Dante. (laughs) And then it's just there's so many of them. I'm like, I promise to God I'm not Dante. (laughs) Just upload it. I fuck with the TikTok stuff though. I do fuck with the TikTok stuff. (laughs) And then then I fuck with like just little clip channels too. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. You can always use it to your benefit. I'd like the YouTube plugs. I think you just have to be better than them for it to work. Yeah. Like, so your channel has to be faster and better than them. Mm-hmm. And then on TikTok, like, there's no hope. You just... There's TikTok no is not. Yeah. yeah. It's already up. They got sounds. They got clips. Just do, just be funny one stream. Just put your TikTok massive on the screen. So when they clip your shit, like, your TikTok is on their shit. That's what I considered, like, having... The, you know how everybody got that banner of their name at the bottom? Mm-hmm. But I don't really be having room for it. Yeah. And I don't really like how it looks. It'll just cut it out anyway. Yeah. It looks okay. yeah. I mean, if you put it like on your nose and then if you put it like right here, there's, they can't crop it out right here. <laughs> they can't <laughs> That'd crop be crazy. it out. have a tag on this damn stream. <laughs> during the stream, during the whole like stream. Like a watermark, watermark on your shirt. Sure. That's whole, a watermark on your stream. Nah, I started putting my TikTok like on the screen now too. Just so people know like, this is mine. The other ones, I don't know who they are. Yeah. And then the other ones are like, oh, we'll just trim this out. Yes. Cut it out of frame. That's another thing they, they'll do though. Yeah, they'll cut it out of frame, which is nasty. I'll put that like right here. You know what people have actually done, which is fucking weird? They will take my reactions to songs, mute the actual song I was reacting to, and put their music video over the video that I was reacting to. Man, that is crazy. And be like, yo, I'm Dante really fucks with my shit. No, I, you know, I, heard, I think I've heard you, like, I don't, I don't maybe not no, a producer, but I heard this, like, I heard We're you, like, on a tag harder. or something like that before. What? Like, your laugh on a tag. That it probably has happened. Some people have like messaged me and be like, "Yo, Dante, can you say this or can you do that?" Yeah, like yeah, I've I've heard that before. Well, yeah, I, was like, I guess Dante approved of this song. I didn't I know guess. he actually used it. He was just like, "Yo, oh, can yeah. you can you do Dante this?" Dante really loves this shit. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this got the Dante stamp Dante's approval. favorite artist. <laughs> say less. I'm like, fuck it. I I guess, man. <laughs> no, this the shit. one. <laughs> um. I actually want to one of my questions I want to ask why why do you start wearing a bucket hat? Uh I guess like the main thing was like headphones. When I wear my headphones, the bucket hat would get in the way when I was recording videos. You put it over there with the headphones. But another thing was is like, bro, I'm not just gonna wear bucket hats for the rest of my life. No, I don't <laughs> It's like you know how you do things at the start of your channel is like a gimmick and mm-hmm. then you kind of grow out of it? That's what that was. Like you had that gimmick too. The bu- huh? You had a hat, a bucket hat, no, or just hats? No, I had I had regular hats. And that's another thing with like this. People would be like, 
oh, you always wear hats. Oh my God, it's always there. But it's like, for me, it's like when I'm recording, there's like a bright ass light like that. And I use like the brim to block it, especially when I'm streaming for long periods of time. A lot For the longest time, people just thought I had a fucked up hairline or something that I, I was thought hiding. that's what you said. I thought you said the reason why you wore the bucket hat is because your haircut wasn't, you didn't have a fresh haircut the first time. Yeah, the first time, like the first initial time. Damn. Yeah, that's true. The first time I started recording, uh, this nigga in a lie. Because <laughs> I, I didn't re- even remember that. But yeah, the first video I recorded, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I ain't got a haircut. So I just grabbed a bucket hat. It was like some black bucket hat. And I put it on. And then I just kept wearing it over yeah. and over again. And then it just became a thing. Someone made some artwork of me with the bucket hat. And then I was like, fuck, I just, I guess I'll keep wearing it. Was you calling niggas um, bucketeers? Yeah, that was the, that was the. Damn, bro. Yeah, that's what like I... Nardwar today. What the hell is going on? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I used to... I used to call them the Bucketeers. That shit's so fucking corny. Thinking back on it. Uh, niggas is gas in the conversation. They're like, they, yeah, they fucked it. They're like, I was like, you guys, I'm thinking about calling y'all the Bucketeers. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I fucking like... I, I love it. I was like, okay. And I was like, ugh. Looking back on it, that shit's so fucking cringy. Them niggas was gas. Jesus. They felt like they were a part of something. Fucking Bucketeers. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Nah, see, nah, like, that's, why I'm nervous to, that's why I'm nervous to name my audience because I don't want to look back at it and think it's cringe. They're telling me to name them the agency, and I know three years from now the I'm gonna agencies. be like, that's, that's cringe. Tough, that's not bad though. That's no, I feel like it's gonna Bro, be cringe. Imagine making a change from Bucketeers to like you guys were rebranding Finna Nut Gang, F and G, like. That's that's, that's a Jurassic kinda, difference. That's kind of crazy too, bro. Yeah. So like the agency kind of it's no, kind of cool, man. Tough. Yeah, that's the agency tough. tough. I like See, that. I don't know how I feel about it in three special years, agents. but everyone's telling me then to do it. You can just change it. <laughs> that's true. No special agents. Those crazy. are little special agents. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Then that's you know, weird. Little special agents filtering to the nah, street. That's that's a little weird. My special nah. agent. That's a little <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> no, Who's no, my no. top agent today? Nah, that's crazy. That's funny as hell. Who's my top? <laughs> nah, no, no, nah. Hey, which one of you agents is <laughs> nah, y'all do true. today, man? Hey, the agency's tough, though. We got a villain like on agency. the books. Yeah, agency's tough. Yeah, everyone's been telling me that for the past month, man. But we'll see. Anyway. I fuck with the agency, man. So, what's the difference? Uh, have you been enjoying streaming more than in, than uploading videos? Most definitely. I tried to record a video like without streaming, mm-hmm. and it's just if I feel so alone. There's I no feel, chat. There's no chat. There's yeah. no... I feel like my energy is down, too. It's not the same. You can't really bounce off the energy of the chat. So definitely streaming bro it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's just something it's just something different knowing that the people are already there mm-hmm. rather than recording to people that you know are gonna be there mm-hmm. so okay. cow that was hard for me too and I stopped filming and I was doing Twitch for like Three months heavy. Mm-hmm. Trying to film felt weird. I kept saying chat. Yes, I kept bro. Waiting for somebody I do that to shit on back. Instagram. I'd be like, "Yo, chat." Oh, yeah, I be. I say everybody chat. It's weird, and it felt different. Mm-hmm. But you got to really do both at the same time so you don't get up out of it. I think I'm already up out of it. Yeah, like, I'm just I, getting back into doing both. I can't. I, I don't remember the last time I filmed a video like, and it wasn't live. Dead ass. I'm dead ass. That's oh. crazy. I've just been streaming like for these for the past years. It's been straight streaming, straight plug uploads. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's scary. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. When was the when was the first time you raged or something? Is that Rage? was that was like the first time where I was like, I mean, what's the um music that you play in the background? I want to say it's a, a a JoJo. Um, what's the anime called? The oh oh the, uh, the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that actually happened because some rapper, I forgot his name, I forgot his name, but he like dissed me in his song for whatever fucking reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He called me a nerd and Urkel and all that, you know, the usual shit. And I just thought on my stream, I was like, you know what? Fuck you, bro. Yeah, yeah. And then I put on these scores of music. I was like, I don't care. I don't care. That shit was crazy. That shit went yeah, that shit everywhere. Yeah, that shit I did not cool. think it was going to blow up like that, but he got fucking ratioed. <laughs> he got fucking ratioed on his <laughs> Instagram and all that shit, and I kind of felt bad because I was just kind of trolling. No, that shit was hilarious. Yeah, that ended up being everywhere on like TikTok and then voice voice uh, things that people would do on TikTok and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, nah, that that was, was kind of... I kind of want to do that. that. Shit was I kind of want to get on somebody else with that shit. Like, nah. just fucking you, snap on them. You but do I, it right now, man. Who's somebody, like, that makes music that you think is just ass? No one, man. Like? No one. Mm. Look, man, I haven't been in drama since Young Don. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot about that. That was, like, a month ago, though. Nah, so that was fresh it. out of drama. That wasn't really drama. <laughs> that wasn't no drama. It wasn't no drama. Yeah. It was just, like, he had his opinion. I had mine. And then... 
<laughs> it was that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it really was drama. Really was but drama. but you know, he got handled. Yeah. Shout out to mm-hmm. shout out to my boy JoJo. Mm-hmm. God damn. <laughs> God damn. Uh, what I about to say? So, uh, and another question I did want to ask: well, How do you balance everything? You know, you're in a you've been in a relationship this entire time. Mm. You've been you married. Congratulations! Mm. Congrats, as well congrats, on that. congrats, congrats, yeah. congrats, congrats. Mm. How how has it been? Um, kind of juggling and handling all of that. That's a great shit. question, man. Um, yeah, that is a great question. So, I mean, I've been with her. We've been together for eleven. Years, yeah. 11 years. We've been yeah. together for a while. So she already knew, like, from the start that this is what I was going to do. Yeah. And so she just understands, like, you know, the, the long streaming hours that, you know, I'll be there after. I'll be there after. And what, what it's all for when we go out on trips, from paying all the bills and, you know, all this stuff for her. Cool. So it's like. That's the top. That's, that's alpha man right that's there. That's a high value man yeah, right there. Right? That's yeah. high value. Yeah. 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 Like, hey. you know. Yeah, man. No mom's going to work it. Let me stream. You can see a sea turtle. You see, <laughs> bro, like if you've been with somebody for that long, you married. Mm-hmm. Not every. I, I'm. I'm gonna say this right now. I don't think. Believe. I don't believe every woman should just like right off the gate. The man should just be paying for everything. Mm-hmm. Hell no. Uh, I feel like that comes with time and experience, and like you know that person's for you. Mm-hmm. I know the person I'm with. I'm gonna be with them forever. I fuck with her. Mm-hmm. She fucks with me. Mm-hmm. So. I'm gonna take care of her. She don't have to do anything. That's love. How often, That's do, you real guys, love. How often do you guys fight? Like, like a not like an um, argument, like a, not like a petty argument, but like a fight where like you're upset afterwards. Uh, not often. Like, like once a month, once a week, once every six once months. He just said not often. Not once a week is crazy. Once probably, a week is crazy. Probably like, I'll say once. Every two months. Let's not talk like, about it. Let's not manifest no arguments. Let's not manifest. Yeah, let's keep it good. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. That's a good question. Let's keep it. That's a good question. That's a good question. No, that is because you've been you've been in a relationship for eleven years, and I was just curious, like how much. Because some people think it's just like it's just roses, like we it's just we always happy or some shit like that. Like yeah, you know we argue sometimes, but it's like big arguments. It's very rare because we just we're just gonna talk about whatever it is we uh upset about mm-hmm. and there's nothing That's really good. been crazy recently like i think the most recent the strong argument, black love i think the most recent crazy argument was like i wasn't taking out the trash or some shit Mm. I was kind of oh, kept bullshit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a, uh, like that's like that's a little tit for tat. But to be Mo, crazy, y'all she, argue a lot. She would tell me, no, nah. no, nah. nah, not really. No, oh. last time we had an argument was. In fact, we just bring her up. T, chill out. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Make sure you're not lying yeah. or nothing. Hey, hey, hey. How, long, hey. how long y'all been together? Uh, two years and ten days. Oh shit! Okay, God, God, damn. damn. The days is crazy. See a nigga like me, mm. I don't even remember the marriage. He was, like, he was, he was preparing oh, for that. Hey, cut that out. <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> yeah, two two years and ten days and. So what was the last I time you argued? I asked you like earlier what today. What type of question was no, that? No, but like ten days is crazy. Like the ten days is crazy. Yeah, the ten no, days well, part is crazy. I mean, That's not really alpha male-ish. I mean, I, I know. <laughs> really beta male to know <laughs> how many hours. <laughs> crazy. What's the second count? Oh really beta, God. but it's all good, man. It's just I mean, but it is it's just all, uh, don't I mean, put your hands like this. Know the days and shit like that. Women really appreciate and value that shit though. But I'm I'm also solid with dates too. Like I'm not. You have a great memory too. My memory is dog shit. Yeah, me too, man. I remember like vividly what we. At when, when I made yeah. the official show like that, vividly so made them. Well, the, where you were at, yeah, but like the exact day is still impressive. Yeah, because you didn't even hesitate. We, like you didn't oh, have I to. Think. Like you knew. <laughs> yeah. I knew exactly. Like, yeah, it's like you were asked like, twice today. Like, no, like she can hear yeah. you or something. I'm, pre- like. I'm, pre- I'm preparing <laughs> for it though. Okay. You know, it's right okay. around the corner, and you know, so I'm preparing for That's it. That's good. I ain't gonna let you know. You, you're two years in. I feel like after like five years, you're going, you're not nah, going to remember, remember but, bro. Uh, let, me, let me also say this. I'm, I'm also going to remember. It's easy to forget after five years. I don't know. No, 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 no. I'm also going to remember because it's, it's three days before our birthday. Okay. So it's easier for me to remember. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Still. It's still. Y'all still kind of fresh, you know? Oh, no, no. I'm not saying we, but yeah. I, I just don't think I, I'm going to forget. Like, I, I vividly remember certain dates. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you just, you, got, got okay, you just got good memory, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you've been with her for a while. I'm just asking for myself at this point. But, like, at what point did you, were you like, okay, now is a good time to get married? 10 years. I know, but, like, why wait that long or why wait that <laughs> I short? Didn't, I never believed in marriage. I never believed in marriage. I had no intentions of getting married. Wow. And then... Uh, and she stuck with you with that? Yeah, I, I, I told her from jump. I told her from the start. I was okay, like, okay. I'm, I was like, I'm going to let you know now, like, 
I'm not really into this marriage. Like, I don't believe in marriage, like, and signing all this stuff because I will always just, I've seen the bad parts of it. Like, mm-hmm. The divorces, like my parent, my mom having a divorce and all that shit. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm not trying to do all that. I don't think I should have to pay all this money just to break up with somebody if mm. this does happen. So I told her, yeah, I wasn't interested in doing it. But I mean, she showed so much loyalty. Always helped me whenever, like she, every new camera that I've uh, gotten, she's got it for me. Because wow. like, I'm just the person that's like, if it ain't broke, I ain't going to fix it. Like, I'm just use what I got. And she'd always be like, no, no, no. I got this for you. I got you a new chair. Um, I got you a new uh, mm. gaming setup. She got me. I couldn't find the PS5 anywhere. She copped that shit for me. I don't know where the fuck she got it from. Wow, That's love. So, like, girl, not doing yeah. that. Yeah. Well, Even if they have know. money. <laughs> <laughs> but but she, be, she got her own money, though. She got, she got yeah. her own money. She be doing her little streaming on the side. But my money is her money. You feel me? So, like, mm. she bought it for me. You know, I bought it, but, like, she bought it for me, bro. Mm. Yeah. But uh, she's. Low been, money is her money, and her money, her money. He's trying to shit on you like by any means. What necessary. is going on? I just love how it's out of no, nowhere I've been too. I've been saying, I've been oh, saying. what the fuck? You know, some crazy <laughs> niggas who don't be in relationships be talking the most crazy shit. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't believe in that, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. I fuck fuck you, you, you come I mean, back over here. You know I'm what I'm saying? We accepting everybody over here, man. Jeez. So when I won't bite you. Oh my god. So how how long could you say you buy camera equipment stuff like that? Cause I'm, I'm, yeah, you know, in a relationship. You know, sometimes it's more convenient and stuff like that. And to have somebody constantly think about you is always a benefit, mm-hmm. even if it is for you. Because I mean, technically speaking, it's a write off anyway. So it's yeah, not, it's true. Like, not like we fucking sitting here calculating how much. What you, how much you spend on me this year? Huh? Yeah, like, yeah. We're not, we're not doing that in a relationship, guys. Just let people know that. That's true. It's for real relationships over here. These real committed men right here. So you know, what I'm saying that's that's what we do over here. But that's you said facts. so. She that's she facts. went from um the iPhone six that you had. So actual camera and right all, <laughs> yo, this nigga. We can see how really shit really get down. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. This nigga, yeah, yeah, crazy. She's downstairs. She's only sixteen steps away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This nigga's we can crazy. see how shit really get down. This nigga's crazy. But I was gonna say was um. So when she was when when y'all were going through the the process of of building and stuff like that, mm-hmm. was there ever a moment where like you when did you start to like really change your ways of like you know um, contemplating marriage and stuff like mm. that? Um. I think it was just the more that we talked and discussed like our future and what I was trying to do. Yeah. Cause she was like, so you, you really see yourself like doing this? And I was like, yeah. So when I quit my job and I was still doing YouTube, I was up late streaming like on YouTube playing games mm. and she would be asleep cause she would have work in the morning. Yeah. And I'd be like, damn, like I'd be like, damn, should I get off? She'd be like, no, no, no. Like you're doing this. Like you, you, you're going to be oh like, you're going to be something. W wife. And yeah. like, don't worry about me. Like you keep going, da da da. So like she knew mm, and believed that in me. Is beautiful. Oh she my believed God. in me more than I believed in myself, and that I felt is, bad. That is crazy. And That's then, what you keep around. Yeah, yeah and then after talk. all that, like keeping her up at at night while she's still working is nine to five. It got to a point where I was like, "Fuck!" Like I'm making this amount of money. Quit your job. Mm, real alpha male. And but but the thing was like <laughs> the thing was I wasn't even really making enough to really take care of the bills by myself. Mm-hmm. But I felt like it would, it would push me harder to do it. Mm-hmm. And so like, that's the real alpha male. You knew I'm going to get my it. Guy. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen, he, 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 she don't pay for nobody. Like, I'm inspired by you. Like, you help me out. Oh, yeah, like, she she don't, you. She don't, she don't, she don't, hey, John, hey, John, John, she don't pay. It's an alpha male speaking. She don't pay bills. It's an alpha male speaking. It's an alpha male speaking. She don't pay bills. We need this man. How much can I, how much can I pay $5 a month? Shut the fuck up, bro. $5 a month. This nigga's annoying. I take it back, bro. I don't like this. Yeah, you see, bro. This nigga's annoying. I take it back, bro. I don't like this. Yeah, you see, bro. But that's steady. That is real, though. Because, yeah, you definitely get to the point where. Like you said, like she she held you down for so. She long was time. putting. She would be putting what I'm trying to do first. That's beautiful. before her own needs. Oh my yeah. god! So did, has she ever asked you to like? All right, all right. You're going crazy with the streams and the videos or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, like can we spend some time together? Hell yeah, most definitely. Like while she agent underst- wanted you to say no, no, no dad. <laughs> I'm asking questions. What the agent fuck? Wanted you to be nah, like, she definitely. No, she that sounds like a distress call. Relationship, dog. I want to know more. There'll be time when I'm stre- <laughs> like I'm streaming like hours and hours and hours, mm-hmm. and then I'll tell her, yeah, I'll be in bed in a little bit. And it'll be three in the morning, she's and lying. she's already knocked out. And I'm oh, like, man. fuck, I feel so bad because yeah. like she'll be waiting up. I will walk in there and I'll see like the screen was on the. She was watching, waiting for me to come, mm-hmm. and 
like had some food ready and she'll just be knocked out and the food would be on the tray. Damn. And I'm like, fuck, we were supposed oh. to watch a movie. So it's like, you definitely have to find and make time yeah, yeah, yeah. for her. <laughs> It's fucked up. Why, why, I'm not gonna say what I'm about to say. I'm not gonna say what I'm about to say. I know what you. I know the question. I'm not gonna say what I'm about to say. I'm dead ass curious. Yeah. I'm just asking questions. I'm but curious I know about. what question you ask. Asking. It because now I'm curious. Yeah, ask. Just I'm ask asking about. all the questions I'm curious about. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you are you having trouble getting it out? <laughs> no, I got something about that. I'm not gonna say it. That's great. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, he. I know what question he wants to ask. Yeah, just ask What's the question? I'm right here. I don't know what it is. Ask it. I don't have a question in my mind. You acted like I'm fucking nervous. I'm telling you, I don't Just know. Just ask the question. I swear to God, there's no question in my I mind. I will answer Whoa. any question you ask. Hmm? Whoa, what's all your voice like? When a question comes up, I'll ask it. I've been asking all of them so far. Oh my all God. right, so wait, but uh, I guess, let me, I'll, I'll help him out there. Okay. He's like, so like, is there is there a level of like, it, it sounds as if like she understood what was much bigger than um, you and her, because I think there's like definitely a purpose in life. Mm-hmm. And like, if you're achieving that, especially if you're touching you know, hundreds of thousands of people in some capacity. Right. You can definitely argue the goal is much bigger than both of you two. So that's what you think my question was? Is that not what is that not is that not what you're alluding? No, I'm just genuinely curious. I've been asking a lot of people who've been in relationships recently. I did the same thing when LSK was here. Questions about his yeah. relationship. I think it's fascinating. LSK's girl lived in a team house with him for years. I don't like, know shit how like that they, is fascinating. I don't know how they. That's crazy. Yeah, that is yeah. crazy. So I just ask questions. I didn't have a I'm question. Curious. I was just gonna hate. What was you gonna say? Huh? I'm really, I'm really you curious. What, what type say. of questions? I'm really ter- curious at what type of questions you have, bro. I'm gonna get there. My when? questions are my the bad ones, and well, I, I want to hear them because you uh, an interesting person. <laughs> I am. I am. I am. I want to talk about your tattoo in a little bit, and we're gonna talk about your like horniest moments, uh, how stuff really goes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get nervous. Yeah, we're, just, we're just getting all the biography. Like, what? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it gets it gets worse. Okay, man. Yeah. Well, I, before we move on to the horniest moments, I I do yeah once more just congratulate you to you you know ten going ten plus years is very impressive, That's especially. Crazy, man. You know, and, and W's where we are right now. Yeah, put W's up in the chat, man. W's in the chat, chat man. man. W's in the chat, chat. man. I yeah, appreciate that's, that's that. That is very impressive, though, um, especially right now. Um, but I guess just to get a defined answer. So, um, what was was there ever like a, a moment, or you just it was ongoing? You feeling like she understood the bigger picture of what you all was having, and you were like, you know what, I'm I'm gonna change my 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 perception on marriage. And get uh, yeah, when, uh, cause I feel like a lot of women expect you to take care of them mm-hmm. and, uh, kind of like harp on that and be like, yo, you think you, but she was always independent, didn't want to leave her job, didn't, she wanted to always make her own money. Mm-hmm. She didn't want me to just be the only one with money, mm-hmm. uh, cause she didn't really want to be the person that had to depend on somebody. Mm-hmm. And so she was still going to college, like, she got her bachelor's degree and all that shit. And she was just trying to figure out how to, uh, like, she's still trying to figure out how to pay, you know, pay for her, the fucking school shit, the student loans she or whatever. Was, yeah. And she's just, all, she was always independent, trying to do things for herself. And mm-hmm. that's when I seen, like, damn, like, no, I got you. That's mm-hmm. why I was like, now, I know I want to marry this woman because she's literally not here for the money. She's not only focused on the money. She loves me for me. Yeah. So... The moment I realized that she really out there to get it for herself, I was like, all right, bet. Then, you know, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you because I want to take care of you, not because you're making it seem like I have to take care of you. For sure. So, yeah. Okay, I have a a, a real question, not a troll question. So, if you see somebody working towards in their career and they have somebody like that and they're torn between, okay, let's work this out because Mm. I know she really fucks with me for me or just... I, I don't want to grow right now. I want to focus on what I do and cut her off. But later on, that genuine person is not promised. Mm. Mm. That's a real question. What is the question? You so, didn't hear it? So you saying like... <laughs> you didn't hear it? You got crumbs in your ear? <laughs> I don't think he understood it either. So you saying like... If... <laughs> would you leave a person? Would you leave a person? Saying, what is no, not? No, I'm saying like... What do you suggest for people like... Not just entertainers, but people that's chasing a dream. Like you, remember you said you fuck with her so much that yeah. you said you're gonna find a way to provide for both of y'all. Okay, because she made a sacrifice for you, but that was early on, and you're just saying like True. now she really cares for you. Like it wasn't about the money, but say 
you just focus on yourself, your career, mm -hmm. and just kind of push your way a little bit because mm -hmm. you was like, I want to focus on this 100%, and you didn't want to balance it out, make compromise. But you probably wouldn't have met her, a girl like that, now or know if she's 100% true for you. Yeah. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying now? I, got, I feel like I got super lucky. I feel like I got super lucky because a lot of people don't really know who they want to be with or don't find who they want to be with until they kind of already at a level where they're bringing in so much money. And now they don't know yeah. if this person that they're talking to exactly. is with them because they love them or with them because of what they can bring provide for them. So I feel like if you're talking to somebody early and you're still coming up, I get it. You got to be about your grind. But if you really fuck with that person, you still going to make time for her. Like you still going to set some stuff aside. There's been times where I had to stop. I, I won't stream for a day or I'll stop streaming and I'll just we'll just go out and see a movie or we'll go out and get some dinner. Um, I feel like once you get to a point where you're making all this money and you trying to get into a relationship, I honestly don't got the answer. Yeah, it's like it's harder. Yeah, it's no, it's most definitely harder because you don't know who's genuinely trying to be with you for you. And I just wish the best for people in that yeah. position, man. I really hope they find somebody who really fuck with them. I don't know how you even identify, you know, their intentions. You I can't. feel like that's hard. It's yeah, hard. It's damn near impossible. Fuck. Yeah, I always thought about that. This nigga John. That shit kind of sucks. They yeah, do. Sucks. Thinking about it. Yeah. But, you know, I feel like the one easy, quick way is, like, look at Instagram followers. If they got low Instagram followers, they probably don't really care about all that shit. So, like... Mm -hmm. ah! No. You don't... You we had a so? girl tell us. Like, it's like girls that have 6,000 followers. Mm -hmm. So, like, 4,000. They, they still have hella niggas in their DM. Yeah. 4, 000, that's the niggas... 4,000 is a lot, though. That's kind of a lot. That's a lot. Okay, for, so what for is 6,000? But if you just low. pick a random girl from the street, she's not going to have 4,000 yeah, I'm thinking, like, you know, like, you know... Out of, out of college, most people be having like 800 followers, okay. like 800 followers. It's people they went to school with from like, I'm talking about from like middle school to college or whatever. And they just have like 800 friends that they just met along the way. Those who the rich niggas go for. Because they like it, it from the Instagram, it looks like, yeah, it looks like they just be, what? they just be chilling. <laughs> Untouched is kind of a crazy yeah. way to put it. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, you know, like. <laughs> That nigga will have you going crazy. Normal, normal people, I guess, is yeah. the way. Like regular people who don't even know. I feel like it's yeah. best would, if they don't know who you are. I would more so say yes. the, the stuff that they they post on on IG. Yeah, like they be they be at the beach. Yeah, if or they be yeah. at a fucking you know some. Yeah, if they always somewhere. I'm like, all right, come on. Yeah, I mean, how they get in there? Yeah, where you? Where, why are you always yeah. somewhere? traveled? What the fuck? I know, but if you're a regular person, you always somewhere. I'm like, no, like, come on. You, nah, always like, you know, people pick people pick people pick their moments. You feel me? Like, even if you go, like, to four places that year and three of them were in your state, like, never you can seen make nobody from our Arby's travels as much as I've seen this girl travel. <laughs> you got to tell me, what is Arby's doing? Because I don't see a line there. <laughs> they got the meats, but I don't know about the fine. Now, how much they paying? Arby's? He's saying Arby's. There's Arby's. a girl that works at Arby's, but she's bad. So, niggas just be giving her money and stuff no, like no, that. No, no, I, I think on, on average, like, you're correct. But um, I'm just saying that, like, people can make it a way on, on, online that is not really a way in real life. Yeah, most yeah. of the time, yeah. I, I a lot of people be finessing. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. Stuff. If they, if she's willing to do that, then she's not. Yeah, me yeah, too. Because yeah, yeah. like, who are you trying to impress? Exactly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? All right, mm -hmm. Dante. Um, what is your horniest moment? Damn. Um, what is that? Can we what talk is? about the tattoo first? That's uh, Dragon Ball Z, right? This one, yeah. But like, so <laughs> I, I knew the answer. <laughs> I, I got this anyway. <laughs> <way. laughs> I got this because like, well, I don't know how many if you watch Dragon Ball Z or whatever, but. A little bit. I was going to ask you who's your favorite character. Vegeta. Vegeta? That's my guy. Vegeta. But um, this is the Majin tattoo. It's like, if you get it, when you when you get it, you get possessed by evil, by, by demons, right? That's wow. a crazy thing. To Hear me watch. out, though. Hear me okay. out, though. Yep, I'm listening. There's a story behind it, or like a metaphor that I use it for. So there's these demons. You get dark thoughts. I talked about this before, um, but I don't think I told y'all. But, you know, I, used, I was used to. Idol before I took off and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I would say those are my dark. Those are some dark ass thoughts. Mm -hmm. In the show, Vegeta was being possessed by the demon, but he used the the negativity that was in his mind as strength and used it to fight and and got more power and saved his family. Mm -hmm. I used the negativity back then as strength and used it. Started a YouTube and made that my drive, and now I'm where I'm at right now. 
So I just coincide with that. And every time I look at it, every time I'm feeling like, fuck, bro, like shit is getting hard. I'm in a difficult situation. I look at it and be like, bro, let me use that as strength. Let me not crumble under the pressure of the world that I'm dealing with right now. And, uh, you know, get through it. So that's what that reminds me of. And that's what I use this demonic symbol for. Hmm. So, so like in anime, when they lose in the fight and they go inside their head and it's like a cut scene and they ask for help. Yeah. Like, can I rent some power? It's like you that. Look at bro. a tattoo and rent power. It's like that. Basically, okay. bro. And hey, did you not see it? <laughs> huh? you, not, you not see the Majin art? Yeah, I see it. And I was you asking. Have you ever seen the Majin Oh, my, and... I like Kid Boo. I only knew Dragon Ball Z because I used to play it on PlayStation 2. I know, but the beginning okay. of that arc is where that's from. Yeah, that's right. I don't know Dragon Ball Z like that. I just knew about it because oh, I played okay. the game. Yes, I watched I a couple it. sporadic episodes, but I don't know too much about it. You gotta at least see that arc just because it's fire. Like yeah. Vegeta gets, like okay. he gets evil thoughts. He starts killing a whole bunch of people. Like the shit's the shit's on like some crazy type shit. I was like, oh, just send fuck. it to me. If, or if I could, is it on Crunchyroll or something? Uh, like, it's what probably on YouTube. You can probably like <laughs> not, not Dragon Dragon Ball Z's. I thought it was like a whole about? season. You make it sound like it's a whole season or something. You can probably it's, Google like a clip on YouTube. Just go to uh, clip. But okay, in, okay. in Dragon Ball arcs are like. Hella episodes It's not like just mm-hmm. oh, uh, 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 That's what I was saying I'll sit down and watch it No when I say hella episodes I mean like Hundreds hun- Yeah like a hundred oh. Cause the, the Majin arc is like Has to be hundred Like is Majin it, Buu and all them Yeah cause yeah. It's, it's the three stages Of uh, Majin Buu And then it's also Bibbidi Yeah it's a lot it's, of episodes it's, it's a lot of episodes It's way more than It's not I used like, to follow with Kid Buu Heavy Yeah it's not like that I can just send you A couple Kid Buu? <laughs> Kid Buu why, why him? Well, in the, in the video game, he was fired. Oh yeah, the fucking video game. But I don't know, like in the real life, it's not real. Life. You see, they got uh, the Dragon Ball Z and fucking Fortnite. Fortnite. Now. I just saw that clip. Yeah. I almost redownloaded it. <laughs> it made me redownload. I it thought just it was fake. I, I saw him hit a Kami Kamaha. A what? Wow. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> What'd you say? I call me, call me high. It's so bad. It's crazy right now. I know somebody's balling their fist right now. <laughs> what did John just say? <laughs> This n- incompetent I it was nigga poop for a second, but then I was like, oh no, I'm seeing actual gameplay. That mm-hmm. shit is hard. That shit is that yeah, shit. Yeah, that shit look fire. Uh, those are the best Akami developers on win. the planet. Yeah, they've been That's doing their crazy thing, bro. Actually, I didn't know they started putting the music in with the dances as well, so they actually almost like credited where the dances are coming from, like the emotes and shit. Like yeah, that because I remember they were getting a lot of flack for that, and then they actually using the actual audio and the name and shit like that. Yeah, that stuff. Who's all in there? It was Goku, Beerus, Boom, or is it Boomer? Huh? Boma, Boma, damn, bro, you really don't know, like. He you really, know. No. I get it though. I'm not an anime dude. Like, yeah, I'm not an anime. Not dude like either. anime. I watch anime, but I'm not I all don't. kept up on Dragon Ball. Okay. I know just random characters like Piccolo, Yamcha from the game, Hercules <laughs> from the video game. <laughs> yep, video game. Okay. All right, your horny is you said Hercules. Her- Hercule. He, he, this is the Hercule. second time he's done it. Hercule. 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 Uh, um, <laughs> horniest moment. Yeah, horniest moment. What was your horniest moment? Um, me and. Me and my wife had sex in a Macy's uh, changing room. What the fuck? Mm. How was that? Yeah, how was that? It was fire because you hear people walking by and you hear like the door while they're walking by and you're like, oh shit. It's so spontaneous. (laughs) It it makes it more. It It boosts the orgasm. Yes, exactly. Because you're in public because you never know. That and having sex in a car at a Target when the lights just go out. Oh, in the you timed lot? it in the parking lot. Wow, we wait in the car at eleven o'clock. We wait at eleven p.m. We wait in the parking lot. This is when we was like, you went out. Wait, 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 wait. This you is the grocery like you, you, you do it re- <laughs> like frequently. We wait or we waited. Like you went we, out to do we that. We waited. Bro. Waited. Come on okay. Now. Come on. We live together mm. now. But I, I don't know. Niggas is freaky like that. But we waited. Okay, yeah. at eleven, we would look at the lights, lights just like that, and then poof, they would go out, pants down. Mm. Game time. Going crazy. Nah, nigga in wow. a target. Putting up 60, 12, and 30. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, one time the cops came in. No. Because I don't know. I, we was there, like, often. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like, you got to think. Of, if you're not living with your girl, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, what, hey, bro? That same silver How camera often, though? How often? There. Uh, I mean, anyway. So, like, the, co- <laughs> the, co- the cops came and, like. They were weird because, like, they pulled up next to us. We they didn't were know. Weird. Yeah, because, like, it's one thing to have sex in the parking lot in a car, and you, like, and it's another thing to pull up beside a car with no <laughs> lights or anything and just wait a minute and then turn on your lights. That's what they did. They pulled up, no lights or nothing, and creeped, and then boom, turned on the lights like their their headlights, and then just saw the like 
you know, like in the Titanic when she put the her fog, hand on the glass. Yeah, yeah it's like fog like that. And we just hurried up and had to dip out of there. Only but I ain't gonna lie, that was probably like the best feeling. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's amazing. Yeah. Right, it's kind of. I, I think it's like. Okay. I think it's like <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. Yeah. Low key, low key. Have you ever been caught having sex? No. I it's kind of cool. It's the best. But it's you probably that's, you can't that fuck in no kink? car. Is that a kink? I think so because like when it happened, I was like, oh fuck. But you stopped, just like though, that. Right? Did you stop? <laughs> I mean, I had to. Yeah. I was gonna have sex in front of the cop, man. Yeah, that'd be. What crazy. kind of car were you in when you were doing it? A Nissan. Did you have See, tents? Oh, it was like a Nissan Versa. Oh. Hey, a Versa. What you gotta try is at a, put her at an angle. That's crazy. And you turn the AC up real high so it get the balls and the pussy and get that cold effect. That sounds like yep. that would be so good. It's because you know that middle console with yeah, the AC y'all coming niggas in? Have it, uh, you got to turn on hot, let the cold air come on. That so fire. Yo, I'm, I'm telling you, your kink is crazy Yo, right now. Bro, after like, after 10 years, like, you know, got to do, you, you know, every now and then so you, you got to spice it up in Target parking lots. He's have mad because he ever only had freedom on the bed or open you know space. The craziest place, <laughs> the craziest place we ever did it was at a movie theater in the handicapped bathroom. Oh wow. You know the worst thing happened. You're living no. on the edge. Yeah, hand, so, hand some hand lady, hand. some lady in a wheelchair pulled up, opened the door, and I like grabbed it shut. She was like, I know what y'all doing in there, nasty. And I was like, oh fuck. Then let me finish. Exactly. We did though. <laughs> and then like when we left, she was just sitting there like she was watching you guys leave the like she was watching the door. And then she cause she I mean she had to go to the bathroom and she was handicapped. Yeah, so y'all just fucked when you stood outside the thing? I was like, like why would I not finish? And I knew I had it was to, a handicapped woman outside. Yeah, but like that's I had, why. I, I had if she drop, had to go really bad, she would have went in a regular. That's what I'm saying. And she's handicapped. She probably got she's a diaper on. She probably has a diaper on too. No. So that's why you need to get Wait, out of the fucking thing. Is it hundred percent are we hundred percent sure we know she couldn't walk? No. She's in a, a wheelchair, nigga. Me, no, I've seen people like in wheelchairs that stood Dante, up. We're not, I'm not doing this right now. What are we doing right now? I've seen people in wheelchairs that stand up. Walk. You're fucking in a handicap. How's she gonna get on the toilet anyway? She got to use her arm strength. Honestly, it could There's be a, a bar it, in a handicap. It could have been a lot of cap. Like, there's one thing to be like. You, think, she, you think she went in there with a wheelchair to interrupt your sex? Yeah. <laughs> no, God, y'all niggas. Wait, what, why, why aren't you watching the fucking movie? Wow. Why aren't you watching the movie, nigga? Because I'm fucking. And she got a piss. No, she don't. She's oh, being a- <laughs> my God. No, she don't. If she bro. had a piss, she would have just went. How long How long before like she interrupted you and then you guys finished? Well, we hurried up. It was like, you know, two minutes after. Okay. You, she's, that's not okay. I mean, two it's, minutes? it's two better minutes, than like two minutes. Like, like, two minutes quick. is not her, that bad. Her, no, I'm saying, but her sitting there, just sitting there like... And this nigga Dante, uh, uh, she just sitting there, just fucking listen to this nigga fucking beat cheeks, and you're just sitting there. But it's like listening to where, that shit. Where was her like? Where was the hell? Where was her like grandson or some shit? Well, we gotta um, normalize. Stop crazy. holding it till you really have to go. When you think you use restroom, go use the restroom. Don't I, hold it till you can't hold it no more. But maybe you, she was, you, you, you a grown ass woman. Maybe she you, wasn't holding. She's it. She's a grown ass woman. Just be patient. Wait, she? That means you're in a woman's bathroom. Well, it was like a family room because it's like a handicap room. So yeah, so y'all a family. Kids. <laughs> y'all together, right? That's y'all crazy. the family. Well, so you well, have well. the right to nah, be there. No, 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 no. It was late. It was late at night. <laughs> if you bring in your kids to a movie theater late at night, you're the irresponsible one, not me. Because anybody, anybody could be fucking in a urinal. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's exactly. The most hey, man, I thought you were gonna say you. That seems exciting. In the, in the actual theater. And then I heard they have cameras in there, so you can't do Where? that. They have cameras in the theater? Yeah, so if you this did, done someone's it before. watching you do it. Have you seen his face? Do it again? What would you just say? <laughs> no, <laughs> you fucking it. No, like, you definitely No, I couldn't fuck in the theater. I'd be too nervous. They interrupt you. They, they didn't care. You've done, like, hand stuff, like, in the theater. Oh. But, yeah. like, I've, seen, I've that? seen people fucking in the theater. You've seen it? You've, You've seen stayed. it? It was one time, though. And you stayed. How do you do that? I don't have the courage to do that. Especially, it got to be a bad movie. You sit here, you sit in the back row, the guy sits there, and then the girl sits on the left. This is what I saw. She was just like this. Oh, the movie. And the, like and the not face to face. The, the boyfriend was just watching like this. So yeah, it's not face to face. She just oh, just some shit like that. she did bounce on that and shit. You stayed. I stayed because one, I was enjoying the fucking movie. Wait, I'm not gonna let them stop <laughs> me. She's in the back. Like you would have to turn around. No, no, no. He's well, well, in I'm the in the back, back too. He's oh, you're fucking too. So I'm in, no, no. I'm in the back just okay. watching the movie. They're on the same row as you while they yes. fuck. 
I'm, we're on this row side of the row, and they're all the way on this side. They're of the row. fucking while you're on the same row as them. Yes. But what the fuck, bro? You're thinking of fucking like, oh, oh uh, no, it doesn't. I know it's it just, unemotional. It's just the way you role played it right there. <laughs> they're just, sounded like they're just doing it. Are they they're going just, crazy? They're just like kind of. It's just like this. They're rocking back and forth, and you every, you just hear subtle like every now and, and you then. You didn't care at all. Nah, I was. I, don't, I forgot was, what I was fucking. Nah, were you, crazy, were you there alone? No, it was me and me and my girl. How many people were in the theater? It was oh, literally it was dead. Crazy it was dead. Oh, okay, I'll bust. I'll bust. Having easy. sex had, with a good movie no, on it had it's crazy. Be, it had to be older. At <laughs> least probably, a movie that's been out for like a few weeks or months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, been, why didn't you out. like... This is going to sound weird, but... Why didn't you just... Like also do the same thing. Like that's the only time you'll have. To like yo, this is yeah. we all. Yeah, like, niggas. This is we all. All right, baby. All right, we, this is yeah. we all. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying fuck this with them. I'm saying they're already fucking down the road. That's, 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 that's not a bad. You don't tell. I won't tell. That's, a, that's <laughs> the biggest green light you'll ever get to have that sex. Is true. They're not even getting stopped. Because then we do it, and they're like, Yeah, they're like, okay. yeah. Or they get caught. I didn't want to do that. If somebody walk in, it's a matter who gets dressed the fastest. Yeah, you really comfortable. We can really get it started, nigga. Add a little butter to it. Yeah, I'm about to say that might that might take another step. Yo, like, oh yeah, you fucking too. Say less. Say less. That's a legendary moment. I was trying to do doggy, but because nah, you'll never doggy. have that chance again, though. Like, what are the odds you can walk into another theater that, though. and someone else is fucking? Well, we can have a moan off. Like you, like you'll fuck your girl right, better to compete right, so with him. Like, yeah, you ain't fucking him. Like I'm fucking him. We fucking the movie. Yeah, I'm it stops yeah. there. <laughs> Scream, baby. I think it stops there. Yeah, that's crazy. Jesus. Nah, no, I'm that competing. Means that, that means like a movie theater employee definitely has a sex tape of those guys. If they do have, Damn. if they do have like recordings in there, I didn't know they had that. And then yeah. Dante's that's off to the side. That's nasty, sidelines. though. Anyways, no, that's the, what cameras, I'm saying. the cameras obviously are supposed to be low light. No, that's kind of nasty. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna put. <laughs> You know, you know when you have sex, your butt starts sweating. Yes. You, know, you know when your butt starts sweating. Yes. Yes. Are you talking about on the seats? Yeah. Think about, think about a nigga has like a nigga like low has butt sex. Yo, have you seen that in the picture? movie? Right. Have you seen that picture of the sweat and at all the, gym? the sweat and the smell? Or think about have you, you come for the next movie the and sit in it. And the dude's sitting on the bench and oh, it's like that's the, it shows the sweat stain of the dick and the thighs. The sweat. Yeah. Have you seen that yeah, picture? I've seen it, unfortunately. Yeah. Nah, that's Imagine nasty seeing though. That at the theater. <laughs> it's a full movie and you pick your seat out. You know, you pick your seat out so you gotta pick a seat before oh you get there. My God. And you sit there and the nigga was having uh, nasty hot sex with a with Shrek 2 on and a good movie come on afterwards. See, that's why you can't sit in the back, man. You gotta sit like nah, I just thought three about quarters that. of the way back. Cause no one's gonna have sex three quarters of the way back. They in all the front have sex row, in yeah. the back, man. Unless they just don't care. Oh, the front yeah. row. Yeah, yeah the front row. The front but that's your neck. Having hurt. sex in the front row is insane. Nobody's ever gonna go down there, though. No, they're gonna see you. They can see you. Yeah. You have to be alone. That's the first thing you see when you walk in. So far down, the whole theater like... has front row seats to your sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> they can pull out their camera. No, no, but you only doing it when it's like nobody. Really yeah, yeah, I know. But then at that point, it doesn't matter where you are. I guess. Um. Jesus. Okay, we gotta go to something more positive. Um, what are the, the top five things you like and you, you love in your wife? The top five characteristics. You know, I just thought about. Damn, they have wheelchair parking spots in movie theaters now. Isn't I that, don't even go to regular movie theaters anymore. I'm gonna be honest with you. Wheelchair those, parking spots. Those yeah, they fancy got parking ones. spots now. Which is like, I feel like people in wheelchairs don't want to be on their wheelchair during a movie. When doesn't the, the luxury? Oh, maybe it's because I'm bougie now. But I go to the luxurious ones. Yeah, I go to like, the luxurious. But there's like one. a fucking couch. But like, would you? Wouldn't you? Anyway, whatever. I like yeah. those too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't want yeah, like a I regular seat. No I gotta have those adjustable seats. I'm either doing a driving movie or like yeah, the ones that like can right. massage you and shit. Yeah, <laughs> driving movies are cool. Yeah, they're fire. Like you just change it to a radio station and then they got you it up play, on the screen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. just clean. Have you ever do it in an SUV and oh, just fold the seats? Spectacular. Cause I always wonder how to do that. Like, how is everybody supposed to hear this? But you it's just turn into a radio station, mm-hmm. and the oh. sound comes out. That's so cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's actually the best date. Nineteen ninety five technology, guys. I don't know. That's yeah, I may go to a drive. I've been to a drive-in movie, and I've been one time, but I don't remember my experience. I don't know where they do that shit at. Oh, now they, they, they have a bunch. Of oh shit, yeah. they do. Yeah. 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 Top five yeah. things you look that you enjoy your wife. The top five characteristics. Um. Uh. Damn, bro, you kind of put me on the spot. Like, like, she, like, she watching this. Like, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, the loyalty. Okay, loyalty, loyalty. number one. All sure, right. loyalty. Gotta have that. The um dedication to whatever it is she's doing. 
Dedication. Our perseverance is probably a better word. Yeah, perseverance. perseverance. Okay. Um, is Pers- smile like a? Perse- yes, of course. A smile. 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 Beautiful smile. smile. Um, perseverance. You said perseverance. Yeah. Perseverance. The second. Third is smile. Um, perseverance. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, smile like the like the beauty, her beauty, and everything like that. Right? Yeah, her beauty yeah, you know and her smile. Said, man, there's just so many. I can't. Yeah, there's so many. I just can't name. I f- can't. I can't name so what, two more. Two more. Uh, char- uh, charisma. 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 This nigga's using all the right words. Charisma. And most importantly, uh, intelligence. Intelligence. Because she's so much smarter than I. Literally, all this shit, like my flight, uh, deals that I have. All this shit, she says that shit. Bills, I don't even know how to log into my mortgage account or some shit. Like, she handles all that shit for me. That sounds fantastic. So, like, shout out to her. She's way more organized. I just wake up and just create. I just wake up, just create, and then she tells me, "Yo, I paid this. I paid that. This is paid for, by the way. Oh yeah, this is coming up. Make sure you take care of that." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, bet." So cool. Yeah, let's get a rundown. We got loyalty, perseverance. What? uh, What? What was that word again? Where was that? Per- perse- perseverance. There you or, go. There you go. Perseverance. <laughs> beauty. No, she has charisma. I said, smile. I said smile, but I guess beauty. Yeah. You like you like her beauty, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said no, this that nigga is intelligence. Sick. Okay. He's really that nigga is fucked up. He's sick. Yeah. He so you so you're not saying she beautiful? Yeah, I know, like, right? Yeah. Why you putting me on this? No, no. Me and Lo have a thing where we talk about. He says looks is like is on his top seventy five. I said beauty is, a, is seventh, an important thing. This is six, six, seven most important thing for me. Okay. But he You keep getting time, lower and lower He goes top 10 no, Top 15 No it's always been 6-7 But he's like no, nah, Looks Some type of looks Has to be top 5 I said looks is my top 5 Okay well, I gotta look at you And be like I love this Well that's the truth though Cause it's like Yeah somebody can have Like a nice personality But at the end of the day If you're gonna be with them forever Like you still have to look at them Every day So if you're not be attracted, to <laughs> attracted to them Then you're not exactly. gonna wanna be with them Yeah You're not gonna wanna be At Target at 11 o'clock it don't matter how gremlin. it don't matter how nice they are. Yeah, true, 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 true. Exactly. I mean, let's be, like let's be honest. No, you're Thank right. Thank you. Sex is Finally. A huge, sex is a huge part of a relationship. Thank you. And but if yeah. you having sex with somebody that you're not oh my physically, God. he's attracted. making it seem like I'm because she's it's nice. Hundred thing though. I'm saying it's, it's six seven. It's like right outside. She's so of ambitious. Five, I get what you're it saying. Takes though. away from like, the you, Eddie Murphy you in the face. Sh- you definitely shouldn't focus on just looks because yeah. that's how you get. Take, taken out of your fu- from your money, exactly. And bitches be cheating all this type of shit. Women be Facts. cheating all that shit. So it's like queens, true. queens. True, true. They're not oh, a queen. But women are more than cheat. Yeah, they're queen. not a queen if they cheat. They, 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 they still cheat. are. They're all queens. Shut up, no, they're dirty sluts, bro. They're princesses. Okay, um, <laughs> princesses cheat. <laughs> really, queens don't. Um, queens don't. What? You so you so you say you you know your wife for eleven years. What was? How did y'all like? How did y'all meet? Because I normally we would ask what's your biggest down bad moment, but you've been in a relationship so long. Yeah, I've been good. Technically, yeah, you haven't had one. So, what was well, how, how did y'all meet? And like, what was what was that like? Because I'm assuming you was in school. Yeah, this was like that. this was like fucking going into high school. Um, she said I. She said we years. Like, I, no, I just wow. That hit, you guys have been together for a while. Yes, well, like Damn. like high school. Like bro, we went to us. Uh, uh, was it ring dance prom together? All that shit. Wow. But yeah, I think it was like in middle school. She said we were in the same class, but we didn't really talk then. So it was like in high school, and this is when niggas was using like Facebook and shit back in the day. Yeah, back in back in the day, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just messaged her on Facebook, and I was like, "Yeah, you trying to go out or whatever? You want to be my girlfriend?" Mm-hmm. And then that's how it happened. That's oh, all. Yeah, that's so wholesome. History. It's no crazy like magical story. I just was like, "Damn, like, what's up?" And that so, was it. So, so, so. Um, what is your favorite video you ever uploaded? Not what the most views, like your personal favorite video. Um, I think my the favorite, my favorite video that I've ever posted. Damn, damn, damn. That's a good question. Because I like different ones for different reasons, but I think the main one would have to be when I play my first reaction to hearing my song or hearing my name in X's song. I think that was my favorite video just to edit because my initial reaction, I was like, it was just crazy. Um, X had put out a song with Joey Badass and then in the song, he shouted me out. I was like, oh shit, what the fuck? And he had messaged me before it dropped. He was like, yo, 
I want you to react to the song that I'm about to drop with Joey Badass. It's going on Real Star Hip Hop. React to it and then send it to me. And I was yeah. like, okay. I was like, he's hyping this up. This shit better be fire. And then I saw that and I was like, I was that's when I was like super fucking lit. So I think that's my favorite video ever. Mm, okay, all right. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And because <clears throat> your art, because you do a lot of music, outside of X, your, your top five favorite artists. Mm -mm. No. I told I told my stream, I told YouTube, I told everybody I would never answer that question. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, these artists, like, they Who sensitive. Cares? Who cares? Me. Because I would have to hear it from their fucking fans, bro. Remember when YB said, yo, all these YouTubers react to stop reacting to my shit, da, da, da. I feel like a lot of that was directed towards me. Because <laughs> this nigga is so always just mad. And, and it's like their fans are mad too. And they be dick riding. And I'm not answering the question. They definitely be riding dick. This is my this is my top five, bro. Dylan, 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 five, five, Dylan, five. Dylan, Dylan. Un, three underrated artists that don't get enough praise. Uh, DC the Don is underrated. I feel like he's really, really fire. Um, he is hard. Another underrated artist, um, bro. A really super, 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 super underrated artist that really no one knows because he hasn't really put out stuff yet, but he's really good. Is Aura Dies. He makes some fire ass music, and people need to like his producing skills. And the way he's able to put things together is really good. I feel like more people need to listen to him. And then uh, third, third, third. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like everybody that is kind of doing their thing, they kind of in their lane. I can't think of a third. All right, yeah, us. Well, if you can't think of one. Damn, that's tough. You know what I'm you know we're going to chop this up and be like, that's his top five right there. Nope, that's not. <laughs> I don't have a top five. I just named two people that I was thinking about. That that's his top two. No, DC get, is hard. Credit. I like his music. It's different. Yeah, he's he's fire. DC's I'm real fire, sure, bro. For sure, for sure. Well, that being said, yo, thank you, Dante, for coming out, man. We we heavily appreciate it for sure, for sure. Man, I thank y'all for having me, man. For real, for sure. Any any final words, agent? The agency. Stop. The Shout agency. out to the agency, Shout man. Shout out to the agency. The agency. I can already see the merch, the bro. The it's like a building. And then it's like, some, you know? That's crazy. Uh, um, I don't really have no final words, man. My final words, man. You know what I would say before I log off, man? My final words. Peace out, agency. <laughs> I never in my life. Nah, I don't have no final words, man. John? Man, get you a bonnet. Mad and company. a do-rag. Do Would you ever dye your hair? A bunny and a do-rag. No, probably not. I feel like it, I'd be like looking for attention if I did that. Maybe like the tips. You should die. Then I have to die the tips. I feel like it'd be cool. I'll be honest with you, if you die your tips, I cannot take you serious. Why? I'm not gonna be able to. I feel like it would look kind of hard. Not bro. him. Where should nah. I die? Like burgundy? Nope. Mm. Not gonna take you serious. Just Ooh, can't. mahogany. Yeah, bro. Mm. Like something yeah, like mahogany. A, not gonna be able to do it. Why not? We do playback. I'm just not gonna be able to look at you, boy. Or Canadian blue. I just can't because it's you. Can, what? Canadian, Canadian blue. You just add adjectives in front any color. Vivacious purple. <laughs> Do that any additive? <laughs> you should know you're a paint. You work at a paint store. Yeah, period. They'd be all different, same colors. Hmm? Period red. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Mm. Um, yo, on that note, we thank y'all for going out. Yo, I Linux think yellow. Wait, what? <laughs> Linux yellow. Linux yellow is crazy. Yo, shout out to my bucketeers out there in the yo, agency. Out there oh my god, bucketeers. Bucketeers, man. Put your bucket hats on. Shout out to the agency, time. man. The agency <laughs> as well, man. Shout out to my podcast people, word of my people out there rocking with us strong, and we'll see y'all next time, man. Peace. <laughs>